How was my timing on that? Three, you did a three, I, two, one, then I hit no, it. No, that was good. Was it good? Yeah. Okay. I thought I heard somebody fart next. Oh. Mark. Not I. Woo, but I farted. Did not. Welcome back. Sounds like you did. To an episode, another episode of The Wanger Show. Did you just take my bit? I do the another thing. Well, I, I'm sorry. Welcome back to another episode of The Wanger Show. Mm, mm, mm. Trouble in paradise. Oh, here, no, let me, let me do, 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 it, it do it again. Do, do it again. Do, do, Welcome do, everybody back to another episode of The Wanger Show. Uh, another one. Oh, what a great and original bit that you came up with yourself, sir. Hey, Christian. Uh, I'm sorry. Episode 343. DJ Khaled. Yeah. What's, <laughs> what's Pokemon 2? Olaf. Olaf. Olaf is the Pokemon? It's like Utani. No, Otani. Shohei Otani. I don't want to talk about Shohei Otani. It's Khaled, Otani. right? Khaled. No, DJ Because Ka- I was saying it DJ wrong Khaled. the whole time. Did you call him DJ Khalid? In the first show, when we when we taped the special, I did. I think I said it wrong the first show. That's right. Oh, right. Yeah. And then I had like seven people come up to me and very <laughs> gently like, hey, just so you know. You're doing great, Khaled. by the way. Yeah, or, yeah. or however you do it. Yeah. yeah. So Who- sorry, DJ out there. Sorry. Pokemon 343 is ball toy, by the way. Look at ball that. Ball toy. Little fucker. It's also the yeah. Halo episode. Wow. 343, yeah. everybody. Shout yeah. out. And Mark Ellis is here for the hey. first episode back. Woo! Thank you, everybody. Lovely to be back with you boys. Yeah. Uh, it seems like the egos are starting to reach a boiling point between you oh, and Cody. Yeah. Ooh. No idea. The biggest. Be- I- Barry Keoghan. Yeah. Have you seen his penis? The same. Seen it a lot. Yeah. Seen it a lot. Big fan. I burned all the salt. I made yeah. love with the dirt. Amber's first. I saw the bath water. <laughs> Amber's Saw the response to it. We're watching it. She's like, is that big? I'm like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, I kind of enjoyed the movie, though. Like, I, oh, thought, I did, yeah. too. I liked you it know? a lot. Big yeah. fan. Like, I kind of liked fan. watching how it, it played out, how the events played yeah. out. Yeah. Not what I was expecting. Not at all. Not in the, le- in the slightest. Yeah. I had heard things. Yeah. Some things got spoiled for me, unfortunately. But I had heard even, about the bathwater. Yeah. 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 But even when I saw it, I was like, that's what everyone's reading about? Oh, it like, lived up to that. I do that all the time. Yeah. 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 I love, uh, I love great the, scene. the parents ish in it, who, uh, <laughs> Richard E. Grant. Oh, yeah. He's so good. Oh, yeah. When he's like in his uh, night armor yeah. <laughs> at the party. <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah. Rosamund Pike is just so, oh, like, yeah, they, they were terrific. In the, yeah. Everybody's great in the movie. Fantastic movie. We'll be on the top 10. Could be. Did Maybe. I see 10 movies this year? Oh. Comment right now. Did Mark Ellis see 10 movies? We'll get to it. At the top of the hour. I'm sneaky. I don't know if at the top of the hour. We'll get there at some I'm point. mercurial because I did see a movie that Ooh. is definitely going to be in my top ten list yeah, uh, just now. But, like, you know, I, I work at Rotten Tomatoes a lot now. And oh. a lot of time when I'm covering stuff for tomatoes or I'm doing the podcast or on mm-hmm. the street, we're talking about movies that have been released. Movies that have been out some for quite mm-hmm. some time. Mm-hmm. Even as far back as before the year 2000. Yeah. Which a is A lot nuts. of the time. Yeah. The Legend yeah. of Billie Jean. Had never seen it before. <clears throat> Yeah, you Great watch. Film. You sometimes watch like poopy movies. Um, that is not a poopy movie. It's got a poopy critics rating. Okay, but, let me let okay. me retract. Yes, sometimes you watch movie. Is that the, did I use retract? that? Retract. Yes. Did, did, did they say retract? <laughs> yeah, I think retract. Is uh, what you're looking another at. one. Damn it, we're back. There we're back. <laughs> let me go back on my saying. This yeah. guy used the wrong vowel, Cody. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can't work with this, Mark. During your heyday of being an esteemed film critic back yeah. at the Schmoes No Outlet. Oh, um, yeah, I got a bone to pick with you about that. Am I past that. my how, prime? How many? <laughs> <laughs> Mark, in your heyday of being in the public, what? I mean, like, in the amount of, like, new releases that you watched. Yeah. Um, those were the days, you know. So, like, do you know, like, your number of how many movies you've seen in a year new release-wise from Ooh, back then? Oh, man. That's that, a great question, that I know. That was Harloff's department was to keep track of well, that. Well, shit. I feel like the number's got to be close to 200. As far okay. as like yeah, maybe a 150, okay. there's yeah, somewhere you, between those two numbers. Y'all would okay. see everything. We'd see everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple of times we didn't always have like a ticket to get into the theater, but mm-hmm. just on wits and guile and good oh, looks, I hear we those got stories. in there. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so we saw a crap ton of movies, did a crap ton of reviews. I don't even know if we had time to do like every review for every movie we saw. It was just oh, like sure. it, it was a it was a torrent pace, and uh, and it was a good time. But okay. see now I like I I just. It's a lot to get me to go out anywhere. <laughs> yeah. And I don't, you know, I've had uh, some good fortune with stand ups. I'm usually working at night and I don't really feel like seeing a movie during the day. I still look at it as like a nighttime activity, unless you're hungover. If you're hungover oh, yeah. on a weekend, nothing better than sitting in a dark theater. It's a little cool with the air conditioning, get some corn in you. Yeah. My movie going scene now is strictly nine o'clock, 10 o'clock show at night, night. Yeah. after the kids are down and I'm like I guess I'll go and like no one's at the theater it's actually kind of nice <laughs> I, I, I'm <laughs> telling you if you're going to these yeah 
Hit me up. <laughs> you want I'm to right drive here. all the way down? Okay. It's, I, it's right down the street. It's an easy okay. drive at that time of night. At that time of night. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's yeah. true. Okay. I will happily it's leave up. my family to, to visit you. There okay. may be some family questions with House Ruval Kaba as far as <laughs> yeah. where Christian's going at all hours of the night. <laughs> it's like AMC I'm just 16. watching him right, <laughs> right here. Yeah. 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 It's literally right down the street. I can literally street. walk down there. Yeah. It's right next to me. And then if that doesn't have the movie you're playing, there's another eight. Eight theater joint that's yeah. right next door to that. And then if yeah. you want to just see a movie in the mall mm-hmm. for some reason, because you like the food court, there's yeah. another one right there, too. Yep. Can mm-hmm. we do a triple feature oh, and back go to, to back one to each, each and then, time? And then you know where we finish it? Dairy Queen. Sorry, you I know got excited. We... There's a Dairy Queen in the mall. <laughs> and I... Very quick. Yeah. I was like, what you know does where Dairy we finish Queen it? have to do with this? You know where we finish it after Dairy Queen? <laughs> What's that? Uh, round one. Okay. Okay. Because that's also in the mall. Oh, okay. okay. And yeah. Not as hyped. I yeah. got to. I, I got to tell you, dude. I. It's too. It's too crowded. I, I, I oh, could do one yeah. movie. I could do three movies, and you're in a nice theater, and hopefully yeah. everybody's nice and well behaved. And then you go to round one, where mm-hmm. it's just you're just getting punched in the face yeah. with lights and noises. Yeah, all right. It's you're like paying a fifty dollars an hour for a ping pong table. It's like, what are we there's doing? There's there's a great comedy club uh, called the Rec Room in Huntington Beach, and it's mm-hmm. awesome. But the only issue with the with the, the Rec Room is that it's built into uh it's like a separate room from this like dave and buster's kind of round one ish place <laughs> okay so yeah. to use the restroom you got to like walk through all that massive chaos and like these places now it's just so much it's like i don't know the mgm grand in vegas did a mountain of cocaine yeah. <laughs> and it's because it's like things are closer together and yeah. there's there's more young people which no for me yeah and, of and a lot of lights <laughs> and a lot of games a lot of people running around with tickets there's always mm. some random naked kid it's just like it got no pants yeah. on walking around <laughs> looking Barry for Keegan. his parents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It could be Perry Keegan. running around. <laughs> my, <laughs> my favorite. Watch out. Th- I've seen so many Saltburn memes, but my favorite one is uh, I wish I knew who created it so I give him credit, but it's like just a picture of Barry Keegan. Uh, Barry Keoghan? Keoghan. Keoghan mm. smiling. And it says, my favorite part of Saltburn was the end. <laughs> and it says him. And then it says, you've just been Saltburn. <laughs> I lo- love that because it kind of checks out with the plot. Yeah. 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 Originally, I was like, "Whoa, what does salt burn mean?" Oh, it's just mm-hmm. the, just the manner. Just the name of the it's, it's the manner, but man, yeah. that movie, some twists, some turns. It's a lot a, of dark yeah. comedy. It's yeah. a very twisted kind of movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Emerald uh, Fennell, Fennell or Pharrell? Ooh, that's there's gonna an be. N in there. There's it's an N in Fennell there? or Fennell. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, one of the two. Right. Well, at least you, I know. Uh, when you show salt burn to your significant other. Um, what does that happen? Well, we technically watched it together. Yeah, uh, we did too. She was reading. Oh, really? She was reading a book, and then occasionally looked up when there was, you know. Stuff going on. Ah, uh, yeah. that'll so, get you. That'll get you away from that page turner. Yeah. <laughs> real quick. Amber watched it first, and then she was like, "You got to see this movie." And she Amber saw it first. She oh, did. and then she started getting a crush on Barry Keoghan. And I was like, "Why him?" All the- oh, okay. okay. Well, yeah. I mean, look, the- no one's perfect, Amber. The kid, the kid is very well endowed for his heritage and his, uh, and his, and his, you know, his size. But <laughs> he also, like, I feel like Saltburn is a bet. If you are a couple out there, I, I, I recommend just sitting down and watching Saltburn and experiencing it together for the first time. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. other, otherwise, it's going to be really weird if one of you watches it and then tells the other person, "Hey, you want to watch Saltburn?" <laughs> yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. Because, like, why did you want me to watch this movie? Yeah. Because yeah. when I went in, I fully thought it was like a. Um, it was, it was going to be kind of like a call me by your name. At least that's mm-hmm. kind of how they seem like they marketed it a little bit. And it's like, it's not that at all. Yeah. Like it, it, it kind of has the facade of, of, of one sort of plot. And then it just turns into something else. I'm like, oh, it takes I a like hard, this. Hard, hard left yeah. turn. <laughs> yeah. 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 Almost like yeah. a barbarian hard left turn. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very, very quickly. But, yeah. uh, but yeah. I like those movies. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. I'd rather more of those than just like, I don't want to pick on any movies. We yeah, kind of stopped doing top worst lists. We got to stop doing. Oh, I never man. made one because I never saw enough movies to warrant it. Mm. Like it would get to the point where like number ten would be actually a really good movie. <laughs> good movie I'm, I'm like, like I don't like want to put this in there by default. <laughs> what is this? Yeah I, yeah, I guess some people. So we used to do them, and then it's not that I felt bad. I just I was kind of like you, where I'm like, there's three or four movies I saw that were abjectly terrible that deserved to be trashed. Yeah, sure. then yeah, there's yeah. other ones where it's just like now nah, I'm just trying to yeah, flush out a list. Yeah, yeah, like your top ten is like your your number ten is like oh this director is probably trying his ass off as opposed mm-hmm. to like a movie forty three where it's just like oh it's just abjectly horrible. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. I was also joking. Make top ten worst list. It's fine. It's totally fine. Do the kids still remember movie forty three? That's they, such a. That's a. Like 2013. I was like, yeah. I was like, Jesus, 11 years ago. 10 years ago. Yeah. Oh, no, we're in 24. Buddy, Trump 24, we're, baby. We're coming up on 10 years at Schmoes. I Who? am, at least. Who? Schmoes. 
You guys have your 10 year anniversary. Back in the heyday, he oh. might have already passed it. Oh my god. Yeah, you, I did. You know yeah. you're getting old when you got to start putting the interns in the ring yeah. of honor in the in the show <laughs> stuff hey, like when you get the other your jersey day, retired. <laughs> the other day in a meeting, I could have I legitimately <laughs> said this and it actually is fact. I was like, "Oh, me and Mark, well, we've been f- friends for a decade." Yes, we yeah. have. I mean, those first four e- f- couple of years maybe friends didn't necessarily is a strong count. Word. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was still remember I, the I first I was pretty much everybody's friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right yeah. from the start. There was nobody where I was yeah. like, I'm going to wait with this one. There's a reason why I only hang out with you. <laughs> oh, Ken, fine, whatever. My favorite Mark <laughs> moment from, or memory from those early days. So it was like my first or second show, and I walked into the studio, and Mark's like, hey, bud, how was your weekend? And, and instead of saying good, how was yours, I just said, how was yours? <laughs> so he's like, how was your weekend? I was like, how was yours? And he just stares at me, and he's like, well, you play conversation tennis really well, don't you? <laughs> and I was <laughs> like... Cody just smashed that was like, back uh, in my yeah. face. <laughs> I was so mortified. Just I was like, like Cody. It was good. I'm sorry. <laughs> in a single moment. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been the last show you ever did. Yeah. <laughs> and I have not forgotten Can't that moment. I can't believe I tolerated insults uh, oh, like God. that. <laughs> you, you poor thing. That you're yeah. on your on your drive home. I I'm was sure. so, I thought about it all night. <laughs> I was like, I just embarrassed myself. What's your earliest memory of, uh, of being at the studio? Uh, did you do anything as dumb as Cody? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just awkward because... I think like the first time I, I did my my first appearance at um at Toad Hop, mm-hmm. there was like a vibe where I was like, oh, I'm not like fully welcome here. <laughs> I was just yeah. like, I feel like, and yeah. I think this was true in hindsight. I was like, I don't think anybody knew I was gonna be here. Yeah, who who okayed you? Oh, I think it was Christian. Because I don't remember it. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it was. You, Christian. you just showed up one day. Yeah, he told me to show up, and I showed up. And I think in hindsight, I think Ken has said this. So he was like. Who's this? <laughs> like, who's the new guy? He might have said it like during the news or something. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. sure he made some kind of joke. Yeah. But I remember I met you. Uh, the fr- I was shooting something with Josh and um, and and Tom, the real names, Finstock and JT. I was like, who the yeah, hell are those people? Um, <laughs> and oh, it, right. Yeah, at the improv. Yeah, it was at the improv. And yeah. I met you and like you yelled at me or something. And I was like, oh. I don't think I knew you guys were there. No, I think I just not. got off stage and then I saw. <laughs> just came outside. There was a camera in your face. Yeah. What the fuck well. is this? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was the first time I was like, "Oh, now these people show up where I work." Like, this, is, <laughs> this is getting serious now. Yeah, Cody, because you joined in 2014, but like, what I month? Uh, it's the summer, I think. Yeah, summer. it was after I graduated college. Um, so yeah, it would have been job. like June or July or something. Uh, yeah, one one Facebook message, "Hey, bud." Yeah, I'm telling you, man, we should make our company "Hey, Bud Productions." <laughs> It's not bad if you think about it. If you let it sit with you, it's not bad. Yeah, I open yeah. most uh, if I'm t- if I'm talking to somebody that I haven't seen on a regular basis. Yeah, I open most of them with "Hey, hey bud." bud. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I go with a "Hey, bud." Like if it's an email, I start with a "Hey, bud," and then I close with like a, a "See you soon, dude." I don't I don't do mm-hmm. I don't double bud. I, oh, I either oh, yeah. go yeah. first or uh, sometimes I'll throw in a pal, mm-hmm. but pal can very easily be mistaken for like, I'm talking down to you. Yeah. Like, what's up, pal? Like, like wait, yeah. you just betrayed me mm-hmm. and now I'm seeing you for the first time yeah. since the betrayal. I'll be honest. Bud feels like that. When bud you, does? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I was like, oh, oh so hey, you started bud. out immediately talking down to me in your first message. Well, at the me. time, <laughs> I didn't know any better, but oh, now okay. I know. Okay. I, I've yeah. been in the game for 10 years. Okay. You know what I mean? All it's right. like, yeah. way to salt burn me, bud. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sincerely salt burn. Yeah. 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 You're a real pal with that salt burn. I think that I've just. The idea of turning salt burn into a verb. This is great. I like it. I think yeah. I think Emerald. It's a scary to think about what that verb. Yeah. Like, like if I called <laughs> There's Cody. There's a lot that it entails. Yeah. If I if, if I texted Cody on Monday and I was like, Hey, bud. <laughs> salt burned in tonight. Hey, bud. Dude, I, dude, I salt burned so hard over the weekend. Like, like what does that mean? What? Which aspect of yes. the salt burn did you did you, did you take, take a bath in? this weekend? Yeah. What did you do? Yeah. Give me a runtime. Like, how far into did, the movie? Did you visit a cemetery? I don't uh, know. Yeah. Yeah, dude. We had to bury my grandpa, so <laughs> did a little salt burn in this so, weekend. <laughs> It's how we say goodbye in my heritage. <laughs> <laughs> What's great about this run is that even people who haven't seen the movie, I think, can figure enough out. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. if you've been on Twitter. Yeah. No. No, 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 no. Mm. You can't do that. It's not. It's I ma- Twitter. I make her dramatic. No, no. It's no. it's X. X don't give it to you. Yeah. We still like Elon, right? He's cool. Is he Is he cool? Oh, is he no, back in I, our good graces? No? Um, I don't know. I blocked him, by the way. Yeah. You, you blocked just because I think just he was trying to talk to, to you. Yeah, yeah, he was trying to. No, I think it did because like uh, you just wanted to feel what it was like to block a billionaire. Oh yeah. Oh, I felt so good. Yeah. I think he had, he made an announcement saying he was gonna un like un undo that. Like you can't block anybody. So I was like, I'm yeah. just gonna block him yeah. until I find out that I don't go on it enough anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Can you like, imagine oh, like where, where you guys work or you know like you have like a surprise meeting or something like that? Just imagine finding out. 
the stuff that like the Twitter employees would have found out via his tweets. Oh you know? yeah, like, mm-hmm. like we're gonna get rid of the block button and uh, no more likes. And they're like, what the? This is just out there now. We have to do this. That was half our time working at Schmoes. You're like, wait, what? <laughs> we're, do- <laughs> we're doing what? <laughs> Bring it back. Stakes were slightly yeah. lower. <laughs> yeah, or collider too. Yeah, sometimes. Do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. if you could do a documentary, a sub, a sub documentary on any aspect of the Schmoes, I would love to get into what Ken's headspace was during the news because mm. I know he doesn't love it now, but it's my, still my favorite thing. <laughs> what level about? Of- what made him angry that day? Yeah, yeah. like yeah. or that week. It just I, I, the the process of the news. I think is an hour long documentary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to do a documentary on that very short phase where we were post uh, Toad Hop and mm-hmm. then pre After Buzz, where we were in the, the in drama the, three, the drama four three phase. four, where we were literally swinging a, a, a computer left and right for yeah. the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And it was hot too. My fingers were burning. It was hot, and it wasn't live, and it was just like, it, w- w- "What are we doing?" Ken is in the chat. He he's said he us, was drunk. Yeah, he's letting us know in his process. Ah, That's okay. Good. Yeah. Ken, by the way, will be on in a couple weeks on the twenty nice. second. Uh, nice. I believe. Wow. Yes. Okay. We All will right. be taking next. I know we're back for the new yeah. year, but we're taking next week off. But fear not. Next <laughs> week. But uh, I haven't. Finish the edit. You better do it. Might not have even started it. Oh, Jesus. But the t- best moments of the year from the Wanger Show is going to be airing mm. next Monday. Tentatively. Ooh, you heard so. it here. So you yes, you get on him. I have the list finalized. I just got to clip them all together. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. saying, you guys are another kinda, good year. You're missing a golden opportunity. You know, I mean, mm. I mean, look, Ken is in the chat and he's uh he's refound his love of sport. Yeah. Oh uh, yes, Cody enjoys the athletics. You guys yeah. should live stream Cody watching his beloved Tampa Bay Buccaneers host oh. the suddenly, uh, you know, mortal. That's good. Yeah. Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah. It, so, okay. The Bucs do have a chance for the Super Bowl, right? They're in the playoffs. They're, this is, oh, is this the first They week? just beat your 2-15 and 15 Carolina Panthers. The oh, I forgot I was yeah, a fan yeah. of that. Uh-huh. Yes, yep. you were. Yeah. I'm right. at the, I, I remember that. No other sport matters except for the Dodgers. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Buster Olney is the only guy I've fucking blocked for his Otani shit from last <laughs> summer. So mad at that fucking guy. Why'd you block him? All right, so. He's just he, reporting the news. It was, so. no, he, no, no, he wasn't. He was, it was Sunday Night Baseball. The I forget who the Angels were playing. But he was literally interviewing like uh, the manager, saying like, "So you think Shohei's going to get traded in the middle of the game? <laughs> Shohei's still on the team. What are we doing, Buster? That's a great name too. Is that his real Buster name, only. Buster? I don't know, but it's a great base. Buster name. only, yeah. only. Oh, okay. only. All right. Yeah, only he's still fans. Buster only sounds and looks like the kid who's like not old enough to play with the Sandlot kids. Mm, so yeah. he's just like hiding in a train. He fall- Buster, does mom <laughs> know you're out? He's like uh, reporting on the game. Really quick tangent. Uh, over the Christmas break at uh, the Americana, I saw a Sandlot. I saw a Sandlot guy. So one of the crew? Yeah, one of the mm. base. I saw a... Um, Was it Patrick Renna? The catcher? The catcher, the catcher. Yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. like people always see him. Yeah. I saw him. Oh, well, I thought it's it was not special. that special. Okay. He, he was one of my first celebrity sightings in L.A. Oh. One of my first celebrity sightings at uh, <laughs> Red man. Rock, which, which is now State Social House mm-hmm. on Sunset and San Vicente. Oh. We used to go there and close it down because we had nothing else to do at night. We mm-hmm. had no job. We mm-hmm. had no prospects, no hope of telling jokes in any reputable show. Yeah. So me and my Dark. buddies just go get drunk at, uh, at Red Rock, and it was awesome. Nice. Saw him there. there. First celebrity I ever saw was at the Rite Aid on Fairfax and Sunset. Uh, one Mark McGrath. Was, oh, uh, was wow. Shopping at the right age. Yeah. Mm. Saw so McGrath, had my first celebrity sighting, and then I think Patrick Renner was number two. So did I you, started out pretty hot in LA. Did you ask for a photo? I didn't. It, it, we didn't do it back then. Oh, this yeah. was the 60s. Here's my polar. <laughs> the Beatles hadn't hit yet. It was baby Mark McGrath. I was like, you're going to be something someday, kid. You're going to yeah. be fly one day. My first Holly- Hollywood celebrity was Mark Ellis in front of the improv. Yeah, right. man. Yeah. It, 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 tough very, times in Hollywood. Very, very dark. Yeah. 2013, yeah. 14 era. No, I can't yeah. remember if like, if I, if there was like one person where I was like, oh, my God. I might have been like at a, a at a movie premiere and I saw someone walk by or something like that. Trying to think of the <laughs> like if I ever was truly starstruck by anybody like George Lucas, Mark Hamill would be pretty close at the Force Awakens premiere. Yeah, because like you were, cool. it was, it, but it was so overwhelming you can't even process it. Because like I was looking dapper, yeah, white cool. jacket. I'm walking mm-hmm. in. Spielberg is right here. Harrison Ford's right here. John Williams is right here, and it's just like a spoil of riches. Yeah, and then I see Hamill by himself, and so I attacked Hamill and got a selfie with him. Saw Lucas attack Lucas, got a selfie with him. Where I still mm. maintain he's smiling. He's on the list. <laughs> he flew in the jet. All right. Hey, he just he, he wrote Epstein and he was like, uh, I, I want to see if the uh, 
<laughs> Your jet moves as fast as an Hey, man, he's in the document. He's guilty. They're all fucking guilty. Lock him up. No, the Falcon has Lock, lock him up. Stephen Hawking. I, I, I feel, here, here's what I would say about the list is that. Oh, let's go into it. You want to break it down? If I was offered a gig by some <laughs> billionaire who had connections to everybody on his private island to do 20 minutes of corporate comedy, yeah. I am saying hell yes to that all day long. It's true. I would have been on the jet. Mm-hmm. I would have been on the island. Yes. And then my accommodations, because you guys know me, I don't want to hobnob after the show. For too long. No. I don't yeah. want to go <clears throat> hang out with what all the boys are talking about. I just mm-hmm. want to go back to my room. Literal boys in this case. I just want to go back to my room <laughs> and hang out and have a couple beers and watch like Friends or the Jeffersons or something. <laughs> so I would not be in any trouble, but I might be on the list. Yeah, I guess so. That is true. Yeah, the whole the whole like um, uh, the whole thing is kind of a big nothing burger. You think like Lucas yeah, saw his name popped up and he's like, what the fuck? Oh no, <laughs> that, that's what I thought because the initial. Like, I guess it, it might be shitty to say, but, like, the hype around the list is, like, oh, who's, who are we going to fucking hate now? And then you see all these names, it's like, huh. And then you, you actually start reading it. I mean, it's, like, over, what, 700, 800 pages of, of documents? Yeah, that's a lot of toilet It's, it's a lot. Me. But then when people start breaking down, it's just like, oh, they're just like, have you did you meet this person? No. And, like, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then so if you're sitting there, you're fucking Kate Blanchett, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. It's it, it's pretty boring. I, I'm going to wait till Oliver Stone makes the uh, very oh, accurate tell-all. You that'll know? be good. Yeah. It'll be like a six-hour document. Yeah. Because, like, my, my thing, like, I did a joke about it for a week, and I knew I had to hang the joke up. Like, when New Year's, basically when New Year's Day happened, I knew that the joke was over. Because yeah. I read about the list, mm-hmm. and I was so excited about the list, like everybody was, in, like, December 20th or something. So the joke that I got to do for, like, 10 days was <laughs> they're announcing the list on January 2nd because January 1st is a federal holiday. I don't think they're going big enough. I think they should put the names in lights on the ball as it's <laughs> dropping and just broadcast it to everybody around the world. Yeah. And, uh, and then as soon as the ball actually drops, I'm like, you can't do this joke in hindsight. It no. Just doesn't yeah. Work. Mm-mm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, it's, yeah, it's, it's all pretty, when you really just like get behind the, the hype behind the list and you just look at the real story, it's like, ah, it's just, this is just yeah. fucked up. Yeah. It's <laughs> really fucking dark and fucked up. I think yeah. George Lucas yeah. maybe asked about a plane ride. Uh, yeah. He was able to digitally remove himself from the island. So in the hey, special you edition, yeah. you're not yeah. going to see George anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll get more into it. We'll, we'll talk about the list with Ken's on. We'll go into a deep dive. I'm sure Ken would love to. Yeah, he's probably caught it. up on that. If yeah. he's if he's done researching the UAP, <laughs> the yeah. UAP sightings, <laughs> the most guys, recent rash. What oh, happened what in Miami? Now? The a- the fucking aliens in Miami. You hear about this? Read about this. Um, the eight foot tall like things at the Miami Mall. Oh sure. This no. is a thing. Okay, mm, let's let's yeah. hear it. But yeah, I don't I don't know about it. I don't know enough about it. But like they. Oh okay. They were you had a friend. Joe no, there were reports that there were like eight foot tall beings at the mall in Miami. You know, there's okay. a basketball team in Miami. And they, yep, yep. <laughs> the Miami Heat. They're taller than. Average. Wait, hold on. I did hear about this. Wasn't it just like one guy? They that said, said it was like a couple teenagers that were like fucking around. No, but they had all these cops on the street, and they were like blocking it off. I've seen I men saw- in black. Yeah. I want to well, believe that's wh- not men in black. Wider perimeter. This <laughs> yeah. is why you need to have Ken on, because not only does Ken, uh, Ken loves to, to, to kind of poo-poo the UAP conspiracy stuff, okay. but he also used to work in security and law enforcement, so he would know how big of a perimeter you have to set per eight-foot being that shows up in a mall. Yeah. This is literally, this story is custom-made mm-hmm. for Officer Knapsack. Oh, yeah. So if it's like... Yeah, they want to have all those cut. Co- yeah, Ken can call in then. Let us Somebody know. should write that movie where Ken's like retired. It's he's doing stand up. He's enjoying his life now. And then he's got a buddy in Miami who's like, dude, we need you because we have these eight foot aliens that are infiltrating <laughs> the mall. And then the nobody twist. is ever better at mall security than you. So it's kind of like taken, you know, where yeah. he has a very mm-hmm. special set of skills. Mm, and then the twist is. They're basketball players. They're basketball, <laughs> basketball players. players the entire and Ken time. becomes obsessed with them yeah. and wants to live in one of their mansions, a.k.a. Saltburn. Oh. It all comes back yeah. to okay. what my number one movie of the year is going to be. <laughs> well, hey, speaking of which, yeah. should we get into it? Are should, we doing should it? Should we do it? Should doing we it? talk about the top tens? Let's do it. Okay. The top okay. ten doing it. movies or maybe film or television or event that happened in the past year? Did either of you guys see the Golden Globes last night? I, I did. yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, Are you friends I, with Joe Coy? Yes. I, I, I ask mean, him what? No, I'm kidding. I know, I know him casually. I don't know him that yeah. well, but uh, always very nice guy. A great family dude. Mm-hmm. What, uh, how, like, because I've seen nothing but like, you know, 
bad highlights, yeah. reviews mm-hmm. of his monologue on Twitter. And God forbid you you tell a Taylor Swift joke. Um, yeah. You know, so, okay, first of all, the Taylor Swift thing, I didn't even really think that was that bad. It looked like she was in on it. Yeah. I mean, I don't really yeah, know. Yeah, they like to mess with they know yeah, the Yeah, she literally looked like, oh, I'm sipping yeah. the tea kind mm-hmm. of thing, you know. His monologue wasn't great. I, I My only criticism with that is that he just kept calling it out. He kept saying, oh, I just, like, he kept making excuses and said, oh, I got this job 10, 10, 10 days ago. And he kept calling that, like, that's just a big pet peeve with me personally with comedians is right. when they call out the audience for not laughing and uh-huh. just kind of like, I don't know, just, just roll with the punches. Just go get through it. You I know, feel, just get through it. You, you just have to suck it up and get through it. Yeah. But I feel like the thing that people are missing is, is it twofold that could turn into threefold. I don't, mm-hmm. I didn't really prepare my statement. <laughs> um, the first shot you see at the Golden Globes mm-hmm. is literal death for any comedian because it's a mm-hmm. wide shot of a huge ballroom right. with the round tables. Yeah. So half the audience has to turn their seat completely <laughs> back, and they just finished dinner. They're on their third drink, yeah. and they're talking to every other famous person in the room. Like, and That's again, the other thing. No one's fully paying attention. Golden yeah. Globes that I've watched past at the beginning – it's it, welcome to the Golden Globes, and they have the wide crane shot, which Cody loves crane shots. Love it. Huge yeah. crane shots. Give me the jib. The jib shots. And yeah. it's half the people are still standing up. They're not even at their seat. So you're walking out mm-hmm. to an ice cold room yeah. of people who do not care about you, even though Joe Corey is a huge name in stand up. He's can, a very funny comedian. He can sell yeah. out theaters, mm-hmm. stadiums. The problem is, he's not Jimmy Kimmel. He's mm. not Fe, uh, it, it, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. Right. He's not that level of famous. Yeah. And so those people in there who yeah. are like the A-list of A-list really are know. not going to give you the time of day because right. they've never been on your late night talk show. Mm-hmm. They've never done a movie with you. Mm-hmm. It's it, it, it really becomes, I'm watching The Gilded Age, it becomes mm-hmm. a class thing. It, it literally, to me, again, didn't yeah. watch a lick of it, but it feels like the reviews are yeah. the, the wealthy <laughs> class mm-hmm. is turning their nose up at somebody who they deem is below right. them, who is he, like new money. He did have a joke in there about Killers of the Flower Moon because uh, he he talked about like the um, uh, uh, how like all the white man took everything. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, you even took like the rights to the movie. Like you guys didn't write it. Like I don't know. Like I don't know that that was kind of funny. But yeah. again, like yeah, he kept calling out like the awkwardness and like nobody laughing. And then he even said like I wrote some jokes, the ones that you're laughing, and then somebody else wrote the other ones. But again, it was like, eh, just just roll with the punches. You but. just gotta you just gotta suck it up and get through it. But the yeah. other thing, I didn't even know he was hosting. And then I <laughs> He didn't even know until like a week ago. Yeah, I know yeah. ten days ago. Yeah. He kept saying that. <laughs> uh, I didn't know I didn't even know the globes were on. My dad texted me yeah. and he's like, Jared Leto's weird. And I was like, <laughs> Where is this coming from? Like, yeah. okay, yeah, I know. Everybody knows that. My dad that. texts me that every day. Yeah, every yeah. single day. <laughs> and then my dad was like, you're in the business. Still weird, Cody. Yeah. My dad's like, you're in the business. You're not watching the Golden Globes? And I was like, oh. Like, people still care. People don't care about yeah. that. It's, it, it, I, people watch it to watch people, to watch famous people. Like, yeah. they love those, like, moments of, like, oh, look, yeah. Ben Affleck and Matt Damon are saying hi they're to there. each other. Or mm-hmm. Taylor Swift, they're, they're spilling tea. Or mm-hmm. Timothy Chalamet's making out with one of the, you know, oh, he's so Kardashians hot. or mm-hmm. Jenner's or whatever. But oh, it's yeah, like, he is with Kyle Jenner. I don't, yeah. I don't enjoy that. It actually, makes me it makes me physically uncomfortable yeah. to watch people, like, interact like that in a room. Yeah. I just don't like it. My, my favorite part is as soon as I tuned in, because I tuned in a little bit late, uh, it, someone won. I don't know who it was, but it literally took them like five minutes to get to the stage because it was so awkwardly like yeah. chore- <laughs> like coordinated the, all the seats and they had to sliver their way that through. That feels like a good sketch idea. Yeah, it's just where like, the whole thing is like just a them Tim walking Robinson out there. Sketch. And it's like, yeah. so I want to thank them. They play the music and that's <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like all out of breath. And yeah. Like, yeah. Whereas like yeah. the Oscars, you just go down the aisle and you say, oh, excuse me, sorry. But yeah. Oscars yeah. are very clean and they're all seated by the time mm-hmm. the show starts. And yeah. that's why there's sli- there's still a cold room for whoever's hosting. Mm-hmm. But that's why like the host, I always recommend if you're capable of it like billy crystal was do a big song and dance number before you do the jokes because then Mm -hmm. that gets Mm -hmm. everybody into it yeah like one of the best openings to the oscars ever was before the host they had queen and they just did they did uh we are we will rock you and we are the champions and it's like that's eight minutes of shut the f up Mm -hmm. the show has started yeah now here's your host i really liked uh hugh jackman's opening monologue where he did like a song and dance too he's a song and dance man it was wonderful i'm not a song and dance person i mean i've (laughs) Let's be honest. I like to dance. But we, all dance. Yeah. we all actually are. We all actually are. Oh, we've been to the island, Catalina Island. <laughs> and we Easy. sang yeah. and danced yes. yeah. every night. Yeah. Literally every night we sang and danced at Pretty least much. a little bit. I know we're going to get to the top 10, but also we're eventually going to come up on the one year anniversary of Catalina. So we're going to have to like oh, yeah. plan something. It's already sticking up. I mean, guys, yeah. this is May. 
Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It's coming yeah. up. <clears throat> I know I it's like cut my hair in like a year because I cut it for Brian's wedding. That's how I know it's been a long time. You haven't cut your hair in a year? Look at this shit. It's wow. going. It's going far that down. Does look good. How Man. short was it at the wedding? Um, not not that short. Okay. Um, look at this shit. Don't, Don't do that. Be all emo. Okay. We're talking about it. By the way, I pulled up a lot of articles on the Miami Mall. Um, <laughs> cops are saying there are no aliens in, Mi- in oh, now, Miami. They're now debunking it's a ten it. foot alien. Oh yeah, yeah. According to the. In Dustin times, mm. yeah. Ten foot tall um, alien, New Year's Day. Hmm. Look, what sounds weird about that? Look, they're just <laughs> neuralizing everybody, man. I've seen men in black. I don't believe. Okay. Yeah. All right. Look at that. Look how many cop cars there. I, I see teenagers that. That, that fucking conf- around that in a mall. Con- that confirms it's an alien. Come on now. So the biggest naysayer of this the UAP like modern kind of movement is mm-hmm. is, is Ken. I might be with him on. Oh, Wouldn't it ahead, be yeah. great if, like, we were hanging out at his? He did like a fire pit night or something, and like one of the, we got. I got to use the restroom, and he's like, "Oh yeah, it's around there." And like, you're looking for toilet paper, like you're looking for something. And you open a drawer, and it's all these neuralizers, like Men in Black. And you're like, what? <laughs> Wait, what the, what the hell? It's like these yeah. alien technology. You're like, oh my god, he's in on it. Yeah. It'd be like, yeah, it'd be like uh, there was that scene. I don't know which one it was, but they, it's literally the wall of weapons is in someone's living room. You're like they push a button, and the family's just there. They're like, oh, what the fuck? And then Love they become a neural. Yeah. That's it's the same thing. That's every family in Michigan. Are we calling them UAPs? Is that like yeah. the, the woke thing to do? It's the, I, I don't know why we had to. I don't know what like UFO was missing. Yeah. Unidentified flying object. This is unidentified. Phenomenon? A, a, anomalous. A unidentified big word. aerial phenomena. No, it, no it, it's a word that should be aerial, but it's not. It's like anal. Areola. A, 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 areola. It's like, hey, boys, there's a nipple in the sky. <laughs> Boys, we got a giant nip up there. We got to shoot it down. I mean, it goes both. Like, I don't know. Is, is it pinpointing that it's it's more because spe- UFO doesn't necessarily mean alien. I mean, a- not anymore. An, an, an alien being, like, not mm. the idea of something that is alien. But UAP is it more specific? Like, oh, we're talking about aliens here. You know? I don't know because most of those things are probably the, built by the government. So. Like unidentified flying yeah. objects. Everything's just cover. woke. Everything's mm. fucking woke. I, I don't know the how aliens. we got to woke from. Oh, it's mis- <laughs> I, I, it like, yeah, you wanted to just get there no matter what. No, I want to okay. talk about woke. <laughs> this, that's what's ruining this country. <laughs> All right, let's see who has the most woke top ten movie. Oh, list. let's do it. Oh, I bet it's so diverse. <laughs> 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 Who's got the most Mary Sues in their top ten? <laughs> if not one of those movies is directed by a woman, Cody, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. I'm right back at you. I don't even know what I'm talking Whoa. about. Whoa. Oh, he I'm just saying. I told you he was good at conversational oh, tennis. You want to talk about mothers. Okay. This I haven't is, changed in 10 years. Yeah. i got to move this. Yeah. Cody's like the Nadal of conversations. Yeah. He just he just right. fronts the net. <laughs> he, is uh, not fr- he brings two ball boys with him wherever he goes just to pick up conversations and makes it weird when he goes to islands. Let's go to uh, uh, both you guys go first because yeah. that'll remind me of movies that I may okay. or may not have seen. I, I've got a couple honorable mentions. Yeah. Have any oh honor? my god! I do as well. I only have three. Ten's enough. I I only have three. Guy okay. Cody probably is. Is this your top fifteen? No. I mean, I have a top fifty something. Oh. If you really want to go through, no, it. no, I don't want to go. Through. No. Can you guys give me a guesstimate when you give your list as to how many movies you believe you took in? Oh, I already know. Oh, I log them all. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw yeah. forty nine. Jesus 49. Christ. I had such high hopes for both of you. Yeah. Hold on, my just... my letterbox. Follow me on letterbox, by the way. It's <clears> being very slow right now. Come on, guys, get it together. 20... I have about. Six honorable mentions, I'll say. You start, because this is loading for me. I want to give a shout-out to Barbie. Did wow, not make the top ten. I'm sorry. just want to get that out of the way. I bet you love Joy Coy's joke about jo- Barbie. Joey Coy. <laughs> Joey Coy. <laughs> Joe Coy. You can't say Soy Boy or Joe Coy, can you? <laughs> Joe Coy. Joe Coy. All Joe right. Coy, Joe Coy. Oh, that was easier. Okay. Asteroid good. City, I really loved. That's a great movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, Evil Dead Rise, I liked a lot. I liked Did that. Did not make that. Mm-hmm. How to Blow Up a Pipeline was a really great movie. Oh, I want to see that. Not a lot that. of people have heard of it, but it's very good. Uh, talk to me. I like. Did not make it. <gasps> oh no! Mm. And dream scenario. I liked a lot. Oh, it's good, huh? Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it's good. Did not make it though. Uh, my honorables were Oppenheimer. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Scream Six. I liked it. I don't okay. like what they're doing with the newest one. You That's know, it. with the whole. That's probably going to be my honorable mention if I have one because now okay. I'm looking. I think I might have snuck ten movies in. Okay. Okay. And then Saltburn. It's an honorable okay. mention. Oh, come on. I think I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At least we talked about that already. Got that yes. out of the way. Uh, you want to do... I'll do I'll do my 10 through 6. Sure. All right. Number 10. What's that? The Killer. 
That's good. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. yeah the Killer. It's good. It's okay. not my favorite David Fincher movie, but it's David Fincher movie, and it's good. I like it because he's like a comic on the road, because he just basically hangs out by himself all day, yeah. and he eats McDonald's breakfast. And he yeah. fucks up once in a while. He's all about perfection, yeah. and then he just fucks up. Sometimes you have yeah. a bad set. A big You're fan only of human, that. Even if you yeah. are. Yeah. yeah. Uh, number nine is still. Still? The uh, Michael J. Fox uh, documentary on mm-hmm. Apple TV. It's fucking wonderful. It's okay. great. It is. Uh, are we, oh, we're counting documentaries? Yeah. Oh, oh I've yeah. seen hundreds of movies. This oh, year. there you go. Yeah. Uh, documentaries, that, not like an old Ken Burns documentary from like 10 years ago. <laughs> you ageist piece of shit. Okay. World War II is an important event in I our history. There was like a brand new World War II in color. And it's amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty good. It's um, unbelievable. Pretty it's, good. This, this, <laughs> World War Two. No, no. Quick side tangent. In Small Soldiers, um, who's the? Uh, oh, what's his name? I forget. Tommy Lee Jones. No, uh, who's uh, the David comedian? David Cross. The comedian that uh, was killed. Uh, SNL. Uh, Bill Hartman. Bill Hartman. Mm-hmm. He, he has a great line in that movie. He's like, he's watching the Vietnam footage uh, on his TV, and he's like, I think Vietnam was my favorite war. <laughs> <laughs> so good. R.I.P. Uh, number eight is No One Will Save You. Liked it a lot. Not a lot okay. of talking. Aliens are cool. Oh, I did see that. It's pretty good. That is that's probably yeah. that should that should be in, the, yeah. in my top ten. I believe too. the aliens are real in there, not in real life though. Mm-hmm. Anyways, well, uh, if you saw the how those are eight foot. Are. Those are like eight foot tall aliens. Yes, they so, are. Moving uh, refrigerators. Number seven, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. Yeah, cried what? my ass off. I did that a little early. Want to do that again? Guardians of the Galaxy. Don't, don't hurt animals is what I that. will say. Don't hurt animals. And number six is a second documentary. David Holmes, The Boy Who Lived. Fantastic. Okay. Cried my ass off. And what's that about? Is that also about a raccoon? No, but you will cry. I think I cried more in this documentary than any other thing on the list. It's about uh, uh, Daniel Radcliffe's stunt double that was paralyzed and injured. I heard about yeah. that. Yeah. He got injured. He got paralyzed on... Uh, on this, the very last movie, I think, mm-hmm. or the second and last, like in preparation for it, um, and it's just the guy's journey. His name yeah. is David Holmes. It's a wonderful story. I heard about David, it. Daniel Radcliffe is in it. It's beautiful. Um, you'll cry, you'll laugh. It's just wonderful. So go and check it out. So that's my cool. top. Uh, those ten through six. Okay. okay. Well, I'm sorry, the boys that went to war on our behalf weren't good <laughs> enough. <laughs> I've seen you've seen one. You've seen it all. <laughs> you know, it was horrible. You know, we joined in the last mm. second, took all the credit. You know what I mean? Those guys in the boat on D-Day were just hoping they could make it into your top ten. Uh, I and mean, there's five slots left. I mean, that's the worst spot. I mean, yeah, it's pretty bad. There's five slots left. Five slots. You never all know. Right. You never Am know. I up next? Yeah, go ahead, Cody. Uh, I'll start with No One Will Save You. <laughs> Christian already mentioned it. Um, it's good. It, it's cool. Nobody talks. It's fun. Uh, number nine, <laughs> Theater Camp. Oh. You guys seen, seen this? No. Read about this? Heard about, about this? it. Heard about it. It is it is very funny. It's a uh, mockumentary about a feeder camp, and it's a lot of fun. A little emotional. Good stuff. Okay. I like emotion. Number eight. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Oh. Or whatever the hell it is. Yeah. One of the uh, cinematic box office achievements of the year. That award to was confusing, right? Very strange. Okay. So it's just going to the one that made the most money, right? Yeah, but that one didn't make money, so yeah. why was it nominated? Scientology. Is it just like a certain, it's like a certain tier you got to get to? Like if you made like $500 million worldwide, then you're in this category. Did it even make that? I don't think so. But I it's think awesome. it did it worldwide. It, it didn't right? do that well. Yeah. It's, it, I okay, look, the thing at the end is awesome. But the more I think about that movie, Cody, um, a little too real for, for old Mark Ellis. The AI. Okay. A little too on the nose. Okay. Mm. I'd like to enjoy our last five years. Okay. You know? Yeah, but, I, I like a little drama. But the build up and then the stunt at the end, I mean. My God. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's a fun movie. Not on my list. Number, where was I? <laughs> Not seven? even your mention. Yeah. Seven, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, let's go with the Iron Claw. Oh, I wanted to see that one. You guys see this? No, I haven't, haven't seen, seen it yet. Oh, you guys, you'd both love it. it great. 567 million, by the way. I was, Sorry. for the Iron Craw- Claw? <laughs> for the Iron Crawl? The Iron Crawl? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Bar Crawl spinoff. Um, this movie's awesome, guys. Yeah. Uh, cried my eyes out. It's beautiful. Okay. A lot really of sad story, on. but uh, it's it's fantastic. There's a lot of movies it. on our list that that make us cry, Mark. We cry, we cry a lot. Yeah, you guys speaking really of which, have gone soft. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, John Wick Chapter Four. That's number I'm in hot six. Number six. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty awesome. I good. cried for different reasons because yeah. it's just amazing, and I oh. just appreciate good cinema. Yeah, yeah, that movie's incredible. Yeah, I throw that in my honorable mention too. Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's my ten through six. 
Mark, right. you got a you got a ten through six. Yeah, here's what we're gonna do, Cody. If you could be my stenographer, I'm gonna give you the movies that I saw that I liked, and uh, we'll see if it totals ten. An episode of okay. the World War II in color does count as well. Yeah, that's number right. one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spoil the fun for everybody. I mean, number like one, the, honestly, the Battle of the Bulge episode. Yeah, for all the movies I saw on the big screen, the best movie I saw all year was Die Hard because I saw it when they they <laughs> hey, played it that a, counts. AMC 16. You saw it in theaters. Yeah, yeah. God, it's so good. Yeah. All right, so the mo- the new movies I saw that could be in my top ten: Good Burger Two, mm. um, Indiana Jones and the Dial Destiny. He's definitely oh. going to be in there. I got that came out. Really like that. I did see The Killer. Um, Eighty for Brady. I enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> um, Scream Six. I did like the Mission Impossible one. The Michael J. Fox one. Um. And then, oh yeah, okay, wait, that's gonna be. I'm gonna now. I'm composed like a real top fives. I think there's five movies that I'm like, yeah, okay, like Expendables four kind of shit. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, so back to you okay. for your. My, I'll do my five through two. We'll save the number ones. Okay. Um, number five, Infinity Pool. Remember that one, David Cronenberg? He's back again. No. I remember it, man. Was it. it David Cronenberg or Brandon Cronenberg? No, no it, was, it was his son. Was yeah, Brandon, Brandon Cronenberg. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. I got the, the son and dad mixed up. It's very right. good. Mia Goth, she's on a roll. She's screaming at uh, Skarsgård. Come here, baby. It's good. <laughs> it's good stuff. Number four, because I'm a Ken, Barbie. Yep. But only at number four. Okay. Yeah, it's great. I saw it again with Amber. She saw it for the first time like a couple days ago. Fucking crying. Just Barbie? Like, yeah, me. I was crying. She was like, suck it up. It's so it's good. good. Yeah, it's fucking it's fantastic. Great. If you didn't put it in your list. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh, I didn't this know you saw this. movie fucking rocks. Really? Really? It's so good. Have you seen it? No. All right. It is. Cody and I will watch it together. It's yeah. fucking phenomenal. The The runtime, like, I, I didn't, I never finished The Irishman, uh, but this just... Flew by. You never finished The Irishman? No. You didn't You didn't think maybe let's knock that last 30 minutes out before you start Killers of the 30 Farmer? minutes? Like, I want to knock out the rest of the three hours. It. So is your movie. Yeah, but this one hooked me. This has a good... I mean, no, I, I'm going to watch The Irishman at some point. you watch it all in one sitting? Yeah. Because I, I, I went to Killers of the Fireman, and I'm like, I'm going to have to miniseries Oh, you know what? Or... We might have done it in two. But yeah. that's not my fault. Amber fell asleep. I would argue the last 30 minutes of The Irishman is the best part. I know. As soon as like Robert De Niro started stepping on the guy, I'm like, that guy's 80 sure. years old. Sure. You know? Okay. <laughs> Just <laughs> pretend he's a 40 year old with like a bad football injury. All right. All right. It's all make believe yeah. at the end. I'll check it out. But this movie, uh, uh, by the end, they're old. <laughs> <laughs> by the end, they finally like look their age. But uh, I think the story in this intrigued me way more. Um, it's based off a true story. Um, I didn't know like most of the shit that went down in this movie, and it's. Pretty fucking bizarre. And the acting is just fucking, like, crazy good. Lily okay. Gladstone. Leo's actually very good. Uh, and De Niro is just fucking horrifying. My guy, uh, Jesse Plemons. Oh, yeah. Good no. mm-hmm. So good. Everybody is fucking real. Like, even there's some cameos from, um, I guess, some famous, but some people in the movie that I didn't know who they were. And I was just like, wow, that guy's a really good actor. And I was like, oh, this guy's a bullfighter? Like, what the fuck? Like, there's some re- weird random cameos in the hmm. movie. I don't know if he's a bullfighter. I, pre- I think he is. Or a bull rider or something. <laughs> horse rider or something. I love he has like. nothing to do with bulls. And you just I don't know. Pull yeah. that. <laughs> but, like, he, like, he like, was like not, fucking bull he's not like an actor. And I was like, oh, my God, this okay. guy's fucking amazing. Nice. Okay. Uh, number two, Talk to Me. Wow. Okay. Might be mind. my favorite horror movie of the year, I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, a few. That's a fun one. Yeah, we'll see. Are yeah. we building suspense for number one, or yeah. are we just doing? Yeah. It might be. It might not be as obvious as you think, but I don't yeah. know. It is. Okay. I not feel yet. like I know it. Maybe. All right. I want to hear Cody's uh, five through two. Uh, I said John Wick. Right. Let's give it another one. It's, it's just a great, oh my just god! A great movie. Three hours of glory. I just love that thing. That is. Uh, that's a. Uh, that's art. Um, yeah. Speaking of art. Past Lives coming in at number five, guys. Past I lives. saw that wrecked too. me. I, fucking wrecked me, dude. Which one's that? You guys are getting Great. emotional all the time now. I oh, love yeah, to yeah. cry, Mark. It, yeah. Getting older now. You know, back in my day, when you'd make a top ten list, you'd yeah. throw some honorable mentions. Maybe there's one movie that got you. Mm-hmm. Get tug on the old heartstrings. Oh, yeah. If it doesn't make you cry, but then you guys, get out of here. Now you're, like, you, you got your relationship <laughs> cooking, and Cody's got a family, and you guys are just soft. Hold on. How many movies? One. Two, three, four, five. What are you counting, Chris? Six counting mo- how many times he <laughs> cried. Six <laughs> out of the ten movies that I watched made me cry. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um. 
One, it, two, it's a big three, factor. Four, yeah. Five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I might be at six. Yeah. I might be at six. These all these movies made me fucking I either... got a couple like uh like where I get like choked up. Yeah. I'm like, that's fucking. But no, and it counts. It yeah, counts. Okay, yeah. then I might be at seven. I yeah. feel like that <laughs> right uh, who's the, the downy mascot, the downy bear, because I'm just surrounded by softness. I'm yeah. just like, Oh, I feel so <laughs> nice and comfy here. It's a bunch of pansies. Anyway. John Wick four, man. I was tearing up during the trailers. It was so <laughs> hey. emotional. The way you... Maria Menunos quizzes us about which actor won this Academy Award, it just really got me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's her laugh. Number uh, four. We can, we can say that because we knew her, kind yeah. of. You We're knew pals. her. We've been to multiple events that she does. I've remember been to us, her right? parties. Yeah, she, she does great us. parties. No. that okay. would be a great, great test. God, now we got to set it up in like a non creepy way. Like I got to be, <laughs> I got to be somewhere where Maria Menounos is and see if she recognizes me. Oh, there you go. I, the yeah. odds aren't good. Better than me and Cody. Better than you and Cody. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd say 30% chance. Okay. Okay. Number four. Mm. The Holdovers. Ah, yeah. I hear cried during this hear one, too. Things. This movie is fantastic, I'm going to fit that one in before the Oscars, I, I promise. I could totally see this one winning the old Best Picture. I'd be totally fine with that. Mm. It is awesome. Now streaming on Peacock, I believe. Yeah. 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 Employee of the Month. Number three. <laughs> A movie that I think we're all going to talk about. Godzilla minus one. Ah, uh, yeah. Good lord, cinema. Uh, I will defer to you guys once we once we get there. Probably we'll you might be. I'm saluting yeah. you, Cody. I'm saluting you. Yeah, just just wait. Wait just a wait. minute. Okay. Just okay. Wait. I'm staring just you wait. down. Yeah. Number oh, I'm sorry. Did I make you emotional? <laughs> 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 Number two, Oppenheimer. Wow. I love this thing. I watch clips Man. from it all the time. You know, a woman didn't speak in that movie for the first <laughs> forty minutes. Is that true? I saw some someone tweet about. I'm sorry. That. Did she build the bomb? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. It's a terrible thing to say. <laughs> it's Never accurate. Mind. Did Never she mind. build the bomb? It's a simple question. No, no. I don't think she did. Uh, there was like one female doctor or a scientist in. No, there. Emily Emily Blunt's in the movie for yeah. God's sake. No, I know. I know. Like you talk about like on on Oppenheimer's team. There was like a one scientist or something yeah. like that mm -hmm. in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Let me get done. Okay. I'm like sweating after making that <laughs> joke. It's terrible. Anyway, it was that's funny. my number two. And okay. We, they, if the audiences know that you didn't mean yeah, it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We should put like a little disclaimer at the bottom. Cody no, did not just, mean that joke. Clip that out okay. of context. Okay. Yeah. God, <laughs> Cody's apology of it is going to be great because he's going to be a drippy mess. I've always too. wanted to do a as sketch. As the father of, 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 of <laughs> as a procreator myself. I've <laughs> always wanted to do a sketch where we do an apology, but in high, I don't want to jinx it in case we do fuck up. And we do make an apology. Here's what you do. <clears throat> do the apology sketch, and then when you really get canceled, just play the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> just re-upload it with a different thumbnail. We've been prepared for this moment, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, I think that was my two. Okay. Oh, so we can go to Mark now. All right, so I might just have to... Uh, all the movies that I mentioned before are my honorable mentions, because I found 10. Oh, shit. That uh, okay. I really... I, I don't know if I found a whole 10 that I really like, but um, they're, they're pretty stellar, all right? Okay. Not you... Ant Man three, get out of the way. Um, I did see Ant Man three, oh, and I oh. liked it. And we got to react it. to the Good Morning America. He's on the Jonathan Majors thing. Yeah, oh, I, God. for a minute I thought like, wait, was was Ant Man on Good Morning America? <laughs> um, I didn't see. It. Yeah, how was it? Any good? Uh, I'm joking. I haven't seen Juicy. it. Juicy. Yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of that actor, he he was in Creed three, and Creed three mm -hmm. was great. I, I loved, I loved okay. Creed three. I loved Creed three. Um, yeah. I loved Air. I liked Air. Yeah, Air was, Air was good. good. See, now we're cooking. No yeah. one will save you, but give me the thing again anyway. Um, I saw the Tetris movie. That was pretty good. I remember that it one. It was yeah. great. And yeah. congratulations to the 13-year-old kid. He he beat the Nintendo version. Again, mm -hmm. I play Game Boy, so you everybody can save their smoke. All right? <laughs> it's a totally different thing. Um, my top five now. Let's get into the real good stuff. Here we go. Uh, it, John Wick 4 is also in my top ten. Number five, I'm going to do uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. That's good. Very good. Incredible film. I Don't talk to me like you guys are my parents, because that's what it feels like. It feels it's like a good like movie. Mark, yeah. It feels like Mark saw 10 movies all by himself, <laughs> and every movie I say is like, oh, that's good, Mark. Good job. Good you job. picked the superhero picture. That did come that's out this great. year. Yeah. Sorry, Sweet, guys. Sweetie. My parents yeah. are the ones in the third row crying at my recital. <laughs> I think I might have teared up in that one, too. Um, number four is going to be, uh, let's do Oppenheimer. That's good. Do you know a woman didn't? No, I'm kidding. Go ahead. Incredible. Did you know a woman did not sit with me watching Oppenheimer for <laughs> all three Amber hours? Amber fell asleep instantly. It's it's a long. It's movie. a long one. It's a long movie. It is a long movie. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then number two, I'll say, is the World War II documentary that dropped on Netflix. 
I haven't watched all of it, but I will. Dude, the I footage will. is unreal. It's pretty fucking crazy. It's restored and yeah. it's in color and it's just it's nuts. Yeah, it's like dude. how do the fuck how do you do this? How do it's you do this? It's nuts. And yeah. again, Ted Williams went to war. He just took a break from being the greatest baseball player on earth. Went to war, went back to playing baseball, then went to the Korean War, went back to playing baseball. <laughs> Baller. Right. Eminem didn't do that. No, he didn't. No, he did not. I don't know why. Okay. I, don't, I don't know. It's first thought. Neither did your favorite player. Eminem's like, what the fuck? Shohei, Shohei, Shohei Otani. Otani. Hey, yeah. guys. So I got my number one movie, uh, cute and ready, ready to go. Okay. Christian, back to you. L- I know what you're going to say. Yeah. You, and you might right. think you know. I, I purposely didn't say it's in my honorable mentions because there was another movie that just knocked it out. And the rest, I don't know. Like, I know I talked a big game with it, uh, but my doing? my number my number one, I'm a little ashamed of it. But number one is Rebel Moon. Okay, I don't believe you. No, it's not. It's Godzilla minus one. There it is. Yeah, not for a single see, second. You had see me. The Rebel Moon? I did. I did actually see it. Is it good? No, no. It's just I, terrible. Or it's not terrible. It's just like. Eh. Okay. Well, it, it, it what pissed me off about it is like he kept doing an interview saying like, "Oh, don't worry, there's a director's cut that is R-rated and much better." And then I saw that after I watched the the, the Netflix cut, uh-huh. and I was like, "Well, why did I watch that?" Yeah. And it's just like, "Oh, so this is just like a ploy to happened. get more numbers and more views on stuff." So well, he like, seems to be the director cuts are like his thing. Yeah, yeah, maybe you should just make it short. I don't know. I, I, I actually like Zack Snyder like as a person. I like hearing him talk about movies and stuff, but it's just like... He's he's a real fan of this stuff. Yeah. You know, no, I, I totally believe that. Probably gets that. emotional at the drop of a hat watching a movie, too. I, maybe, yeah. but I don't know. It's, it's fine. I don't want to show... I don't want to make a top 10 worst movie list, but All that's right, number so one. He was making a joke, <laughs> no, but Cody and I, as you know, do not have a sense of humor, so Rebel yeah. Moon is your number one of no, the No, it's year. not. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's Godzilla so, minus one. Rebel Moon for Rubel Godzilla. Godzilla. Minus one. And God, that's damn not that movie. Was, your number. If it's not your number one, you're wrong. Just wrong. Is it I, yours? I, oh shit, did I say Barbie already? Wow, you didn't. Okay, you I'll didn't have even him put tie. It. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll that's have fair. Him, I'll have him tie. Sorry, to, okay. to, 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 I'm gonna put all the pressure on Cody now because it's it Barbie slash Godzilla okay. minus one. Because mm. I just saw Godzilla minus one over the weekend, and my God, what a yeah. stunning achievement! What a picture on every level every single yeah it's just so damn good and the thing that i didn't even expect it to do Mm -hmm. is it humanizes anybody who's ever been involved in a war and you see what the aftermath Mm -hmm. of that war is yes and it specifically uh humanizes uh people who have been defeated in a war yeah and not only that uh but the the fact that it, it not that they didn't have a choice, but their way about going into the war. Yes, like oh, you're you're honorable if if mm-hmm. if you give your life to it, and if not, you're a disgrace to this country. Yeah, and it's just like that's that's incredibly fucking powerful. And they take that power back and say, no, we can fight a war with the hope to survive it. And then when they when a certain thing happens and they salute, it's like oh. Beautiful. Look, man. It's Fucking just, beautiful. That's everybody great. realizes that we're just humans. You mm-hmm. you have a rank that's adorable. Mm-hmm. Now there's a giant lizard attacking us, so rank doesn't really matter anymore. It's what are you good at, and we need to take a lesson from Godzilla Minus One. Cody, I know you'll agree with this because it's not like those 10-foot aliens just went to one mall and are going to stop. No. <laughs> They're going to come to every mall. They're going to come to your mall. So goddamn good. Yeah. Best movie of the year. I don't see anything in the – I don't even think I'm going to do a top 10 this year because it's just – there's no point. There's no point. There's a, a black yeah. and white version coming out in Japan, and I want to fly to Japan just to see it, and it's going to make my top 10 list of 2020. You and your new yeah. friend Shohei can fly can back I? to Japan. Yes. Um, I'm sure it's on his number one list. I would love if you actually did that bit and you committed to it. You refused to see I, a single dude. movie this year <laughs> I've because been Godzilla like, Minus One was so good. I've been wanting to go to Japan for so long now, and I just kept I keep doing more research. Mm-hmm. And come to find out, it's extremely affordable. Like, it's very not very cheap. But to eat out there and to yeah. stay in places, it's very, very. My brother you, went there a couple there, years yeah. ago. He loved it. Oh, I, yeah. I fucking hate your brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God damn it, mm-hmm. Dalen. You, yeah, Cody. Yeah, Cody's brother. Dick. Cody's brother. This guy. Both of your, both of your, like your siblings. So much better than us. Yeah, I've met yeah. him at, at at weddings and various functions, and yeah. I got to tell you, I, yeah. I wish they had a podcast. No <laughs> offense, but I wish they had a show. Yeah, don't give him that. Nope. You can't. Maybe one day they'll be on the show. No. No, they won't. <laughs> No, you can't let the world no. know how much better. Why do you think I've never put my brother on anything? <laughs> you can't let them know that there's funnier people. Oh, we're not, you not know? that funny. You can't no, let them know. I think I'm funnier. Yeah. I, Dalen's pretty funny. Though. I don't know. 
hilarious. Get him on a camera. So my number one movie of the year, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. What did you up. like? Yeah, I guess I'm here, too. Number three? So Godzilla was my number three, yeah, if you recall. Loser. So my number one is... I looked at my phone because I forgot. Spider-Man Across the spider -Man. Oh! Yeah. Love this thing, guys. Wow. Cried during this, too. Multiple times throughout. It was incredible. It's pretty good. Very pretty enjoyed. good cliffhanger. I, I know people say, oh, it's only half a movie. Go fuck yourself. It, it's a lovely time. I, I mean, love it is thing. only half a movie. You go fuck yourself. Okay. <laughs> All right. Movie of the year. Spider-Man. And there were no women that talked in it for a good 45 seconds. Yeah. So. I think the first person who talks is a woman. It's a 45 movie. seconds. <laughs> okay, fair enough. After the titles. 45 right. Who directed seconds. it? Who directed it? Men. <laughs> yeah. Fair. It was dudes. Yeah. It was dudes it's doing like that like 16 direction. dudes yeah. directed that yes, movie. Yes, it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dudes were everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a good movie. I like I like Across the Spider-Verse. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. I, I saw it a little late, but I saw yeah. it. Actually, I'm proud of my... I saw more movies. You, okay, questions now. Because mm, yeah. I have unanswered questions for movies that I thought were, might be worth seeing, but I didn't yet for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. um, you cannot tell me that The Exorcist is not worth watching. Is it that bad? It's not worth watching. Is it that bad? There, isn't it part of a trilogy? Are we launching a new thing here? Oh, I don't know if that's going to happen anymore. I have no idea. Oh, but man. But it's just, it's just kind of a... There's like There was like one scene that kind of perked my interest, um, and everything else is just sort of... Just sort of cookie cutters. Go to buy the numbers. Over to Cody for his take. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Okay. Um... I like some of the ideas. The, the girls. That, that could be like, how's this movie? Yeah. <laughs> when I see you guys up, like, how's the movie? Yeah, the, uh, the girls that are in it, the, mm -hmm. the two, because that's the thing, those two girls that are the possessed. The girls that I saw in the maze. Yes. Oh. Yeah. That maze. Pretty scary. Oh. Uh, they're very good. They okay. are the, the best thing about that mm -hmm. movie. They, they, they're very, very good. Um, but yeah, no, I'm just. Yeah. Can you actually see Ellen Burstyn take the check and put it in her purse? Or. No, the stuff with her was actually like. Like the word that was really bad. Uh, the 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 credit. I'll I'll give her credit because I think she literally took her paycheck and like donated it to to something like for up and coming actors or something. Oh she donated God. it to something. I was like, oh, good for that's fucking awesome. Good time like, for I don't joke, Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she like she was like, I didn't I didn't need this money. But what they what they do to her her character is just like yeah. like why like that was dude. Weird. I got excited, man. When we were at CinemaCon, we're sitting there. And I didn't know there was a new Exorcist movie coming out. And then it's right, just like, yeah. it, it, you see that it's dark and there's like possession. And it's like, oh, this reminds, oh my God, it's the music. Mm -hmm. And then she walks through the door. Yeah. It's like, oh my God, the OG is back. I'm not sure how much help she can be in this particular situation, but um, it, it's still nice to see her. Yeah, it, it was weird because like she, she has this moment where she confronts one of the possessed little girls mm -hmm. and she's like, we've met before. And it's just like, this isn't. This, I don't think this is the same demon as, as the last one. No, they all kind they, of talk. They, yeah, I know, but like they They're never... They're like teachers. Demons are like teachers. They get in the lounge, mm -hmm. and they talk about the students, Yeah, and I'm sure her name came up because she was mm -hmm. a big thorn in the side of yeah. Pazuzu. And we just don't pay them anything. Yeah. Right? <laughs> We just don't pay treat demons. them, treat teachers like shit. Yeah, and demons. They've got like the heart. Yeah, yeah. They're the same thing. Yeah, yeah. They got the hardest job. They're teaching kids who knows what in Florida. Their coffees are cold. You got to ban those books. Um, the other one I was concerned about was Blackberry. Is that good or not? Because oh, that's been on my list. I want to see, see that. Heard it's bad. Blackberry because yeah. we all had one. We all had. One. I didn't, but my dad did. You never had a Blackberry? No. I, I'm, old enough? I'm, I was team. I'm flip. like 30 years old, Mark. Yeah. Dude, yeah, and Blackberries were huge in like what 2007. I was in middle school. No, you weren't. Yeah. 20, no, 2007. 2007. I was in high school. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was a freshman. I got a text. Horrifying moment in my life. Was it my dad? Top five scariest moments of all time. <laughs> my dad texted Christian's you? dad texted me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, hey, bud. I had, uh, a, <laughs> I had a Blackberry. No, um, I, I got a text from a friend of mine's uh, daughter who is in like fifth grade or sixth grade. That's not a good text. And, and, and it's like, it, it's like, hey, this is me. Like, and I'm like, no. Yeah, get, get out. Get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. what, a, what am I possibly going to talk to you about? <laughs> She's like, get like, out of here. You see the commander's game? Yeah, I'm like, no, we're yeah. not talking about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, no, I it? didn't see Saltburn. Okay. <laughs> um, no, that's it. Okay. That's all I got. Yeah, I need to see There's got to be something else I, like I want to see. Glenn a lot. I mean, yeah. you, get, you guys talked about the other ones I want to see. Like, I haven't seen it, like the holdovers. Um, I hear Dungeons & Dragons is pretty good. Uh, that's okay. on my list, too. Yeah. That one's okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, Christian, you made this prediction about The Exorcist a couple years ago, and it took me a second to find it here. That's what I was doing. Um, did, oh. this, did this come true? I'm going to play it for you right now. <laughs> it did not, but yeah. I had a, a tweet that I liked. 
that I thought was funny. That the Exorcist sequel is just going to be Ellen Burst- Bernstein with a shotgun shooting Pazuzu. Because mm-hmm. that's just the Halloween thing. I, I laughed at I it. Don't I, don't it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate it. I don't hate it. No, she doesn't. If I told you what happened to Ellen it. Burstyn, I funny. <laughs> you, would, you would laugh. Um, I laughed at it. Other I movies that I, I saw, Knock of the Cabin, it was the M. Night's movie. It was pretty good. Oh good. yeah, we saw. We, oh yeah, we, we saw it together. We enjoyed oh, that together. We were right yeah. next to each other. That's right. Um, and then we had a woman who did not like it on the way out. I think we talked about that. that Remember was, that? Like as soon as the movie was, was over, wild. we're in an elevator with this woman. She's like, "So who do you vote for?" It's like she got right <laughs> yeah. into the political. <laughs> she was like, like "I found the movie very conservative." I was mm-hmm. like, "What the fuck?" And right. this is this is this the same woman before when you and I were no, this might have been or this might have been just another critic. You and I were talking. And you would offhand mention like, oh, I've never seen the scary movies, and I was like, oh, you should definitely watch the first one. Like that's that's yeah. that one's great. And then the, this person, I can't remember if it was that same woman or if it was just another, just some random critic dude. And they were like, no, you don't. Right. And I'm right. like, I'm sorry. Are you in on this conversation? No. Mind just, your business. I love people who are so desperate to get into any conversation. Yeah. Like they're in line and like they just can't stand to be alone with their own thoughts for five minutes. Nope. Nope, they they just wow. They we just got love a, to be in it. We got a super chat that said, "Watch Blackberry, gentlemen." Oh, oh thank you, Reaper. Do it. Reaper thank four you, two Reaper. one three. Watch Blackberry, gentlemen, please. All uh, right, it's on the list. JJ also asked if I saw Poor Things. Yes, I saw that last night. That was the movie we were talking about earlier. Yeah, um, didn't make my I, top ten. I did like it. A okay. pretty good amount. I know uh, for a fact. You like that dude, the the, yeah. the filmmaker. He, That's likes why that, I, he likes that weird guy. I was so fucking pissed. Emphasis yeah. on the word guy. Yeah, I was literally. He's a male. What's today? Director. Monday. <laughs> yes or yes. Yesterday, Sunday, I was looking at my letterbox and I was like looking at my top ten. I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck! I haven't seen Poor Things." And I know, like, I love this guy. You'd love it's it. probably right up my alley. And I looked at Cody. He's like, "Oh, he didn't see it." So, okay. Then I look at my letterbox today. <laughs> I'm like, "This motherfucker saw the movie." God damn it! Ten o'clock and, showings, baby. And I what know for a goddamn fact, and I'm calling it right now. If I see this movie by the time we do the next episode, I know for a fact it's going to make my top ten list. So it's probably going to yeah. change. It's yeah. probably it's gonna knock Godzilla off. We'll let yeah, you put that on your 2024 best of because you're not gonna see anything else anyway. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah oh wait, really I true. forgot. Uh, past lives. If I didn't oh, already yeah. say, it should be in my top ten yeah. somewhere because that was great. Yeah. Uh, Cobweb was good. Saw X was good. Uh, oh, Saw, ten, Saw X should be in my top ten. Saw X was really good. I don't Saw think we X have more than my, ten in this. In my yeah. Top yeah. yeah. Maybe I'm an honorable mention okay. guy too. Maybe I, you've also seen 49 movies this year, Mark. I might believe in yourself. The yeah. the blackening was actually really funny. Mm. I liked that movie a lot. I Wonka. heard it was very. You know funny. what was actually surprising? Wonka. Yeah. Fucking shocked of how much I liked that movie. Did you cry? Yeah. Fuck, he cried. No, I cried. did not. Did you no. cry, Wonka? I haven't seen it. I, there's no uh, quarter here. There's there, yeah. there's nowhere to turn. <laughs> but leave the world behind made me cry, but for different reasons. I didn't see leave the world behind yet, but I hear it's it's on the list. Oh, no. No? No. Jack brought up Bottoms. You guys see Bottoms? Heard that's great. Oh, uh, no. Mm-mm. I heard it was I heard it was very good. <laughs> yeah, let me see that. Flame and Hot was fun. Okay. Super Mario was fun. Boston Strangler was like okay. I didn't see Super Mario out of uh, out of protest because I I refused to see one more piece of art that has to rely on that goddamn aha song take on me. I mm. stop it. Hey, we've heard no. the song. Hey, enough. Hey, no. man, that's like my go to karaoke. We don't need it in every movie. Mm. It's like, true. oh, well, well this will wake the parents up. Like, just stop. <laughs> we don't need it. There's when other songs that were released in the 80s. <laughs> when Christian sang that at a uh, karaoke, Mark walked out. He just fucking left. I also butchered yeah. it hard yeah. at there, too. So that's yeah. the way I like it. Yeah. Okay. I like my take on me well done. <laughs> 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 Extra steak sauce on top of that. <laughs> you know, I went over the weekend that was really like kind of, I don't want to, disappointing is the wrong word because I didn't enjoy the steak. Oh, back. I thought Black Angus was like a fancy steakhouse. No. And it is not. No. It's, it's, it, I mean, you walk in and you're like, I guess the folks at Chili's decided to move on. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's that it's level. not that great. Do you yeah. remember when Frank kept trying to like pitch us like the two for oh, fifty yeah. deal or we whatever? Never, we never I, did I, it. I regret not going because he was so excited and he's like, I, "There's so much food." Cody. I, we used to go there a lot when I was a kid. It was a really good steak too. I feel yeah. bad saying it, but it's just yeah. like I was ex- like I I was worried that I didn't have cash in my pocket for the valet. <laughs> <laughs> and I get there, and I'm like, no, there's Wait, a, it's just a parking lot. Val- yeah, I was going to say. Okay. I thought they would have a valet at Black Angus, the, the, and they didn't. The best part about <laughs> Black Angus is the is the bread. Is the, uh, yeah, the What, what kind of bread is it? It's the, uh, um, is it the pumpernickel? Is that the it? the, the Cheesecake know. Factory. Yeah, well, yeah. Bread. I mean, it's pretty much what I believe is. it's a rye. Something like that. Kind of that. a dark the one rye. one that's like brown? Yeah. Like the dark yeah, one? Yeah, okay. yeah. Not everything's white. Okay, well, okay. 
I prefer my bread hot. <laughs> <laughs> but they also have that, that like garlic cheese toast looked really good. Like I could Ooh, eat there for a week and get yeah. something different every time. So I love the menu. I just, my expectations were overblown. Okay. okay. So it, anyway, that's my piece. And we I need to it. go to Fogo de Chao. Sure. Yeah, we've never done that as a group. No, and we it's, need we need to have a meeting. Talk about like alpha male material. What is this? Fucking it, is they steakhouse. Just, what they just serve you meat. It's oh. a Brazilian steakhouse, Cody. Mm-hmm. Expand oh, your sorry. horizons. So yeah. sorry. Yeah. There are multiple meats that they send you, mm. and you literally have a card on your table that says "stop" or oh, "go." I've heard of this? And you flip it, and they, they, if you have it on green, they just keep sending. I'm you stopping meat. after the salad. They, they just. Yeah. There's a salad bar. Okay. Well, there's a salad bar. There's my a, joke. They, yeah. they pretty much have a starch bar, too. You can just yeah. go up and get other stuff. Um, it, I don't know if you guys remember, like, in the old days, banks would have, like, you'd, like, write a check, and then you'd put it in the thing, and it would suck it up, and it would go over. A check? A check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's back in the day before ATMs weren't all cracked Is that, up, like, where like where's that now. fall in the blockchain? Um, it, This is actual money. So you would write a check, mm. and... I knew a guy once that said otherwise. To mm. deposit it, you'd, like, pull up, and there'd be a teller at the window... And you'd have like this like little rectangular mm-hmm. box, and you would put it in, mm. put the check in, and then it would suck it up through yeah. s- through the power of suction, yeah, it and did. it would go over. Then the teller would get it, and then they'd get it, and then they'd like put it in your bank. And so oh. anyway, my idea for a steakhouse is the reverse of that. <laughs> they, you see somebody and they just shoot meat down through the. <laughs> shoo- it, it's like a it's a technologically advanced dumb waiter. You know? Okay. Just shoom, and it just arrives at your plate. The steak that, comes that, out like a cylinder shape. Yeah. <laughs> like, that makes me soup think. Soup gets a little dirty. <laughs> yeah. The soup, they, it, yeah. They, they, they need to turn down the pressure on the hose with the soup. That just makes me think they really haven't nailed down, like, the fast food steak. They they really need to lock that down. Huh. Um, it just takes too long. It kind of feels like you're taking a shot at Arby's for no reason. Mm. <sighs> Arby's Which hasn't, you would never do. Arby's hasn't mastered it but they've gotten closer than it arby's basically it's like an arms race or like the moon landing nobody's landed never, on the moon yet it never happened it never wasn't it wasn't real arby's isn't real you've it's never not actually real. eaten at arby's you've never been there arby's has successfully launched a monkey into space <laughs> and that is currently where we are as far as steak and fast food okay that's fair you that's know? fair There's and it's a reason a no one else has tried though recently okay one well, no, days, wait, who's Cody? that? Uh, steak and Shake has the world-famous steak burger. It's a hamburger. Yeah. It's a hamburger. Uh, uh, I don't, uh, I'm never again Steak and Shake. I like Steak and Shake. Never no? again. I, I got food place. poisoning from there. Oh, right. It was There was one open uh, right, right across, in yeah. downtown Burbank for mm-hmm. a minute. Yeah. That's, Nothing's there. Dude, that, that Panera, still, Panera's not there. No, what? Yeah, they lost no. Panera? Yeah. Lost and Panera. this is before they tried killing people with their, their lemonade. Is the, was it King's Fish House? What's the seafood place right there? Is that one still there? Now Joe's they, Crab Shack? Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's Boiling, boiling crab. crab. Boiling Sorry. Crab. That's what it was. I got my crabs mixed it's up. It's the Boiling Crab. <laughs> and then you have that sushi place that's next door. Thank <laughs> God, because that used to be Chronic Tacos, which was... Oh, like that was our spot. Tacos. That was our spot. The yeah. worst. I could. I. I would make them shower before doing yeah. schmoes no afterwards because it smelled so bad in Chronic Tacos. Yeah, it did, but it was like home. Yeah, it was home. It felt right. Kyle, I like Kyle. Uh, Kyle Harlow in the chat said Arby's is the product of the Mandela effect. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> It's Harlow is just still on it, man. It's a it's new good. year. Harlow still, still a plus when it comes to comments. Yeah. So it's just yard house. No, another one. He said. Kyle says Brazilian steakhouse. Is this? The, is this? The, is the ma- meat wax? This guy I, again. Wow. I, I don't know what he charges per hour. Yeah. But. You need to be hosting the show. Yeah. Um, Golden Globes next year. Harlow for the Golden Globes. Mm. Ma- hey, maybe anybody but Joe Cole. Oh. Pfft. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't see it. But uh, again, it's a tough room as well. Yeah. So yeah, it's a. Room. It's a borderline impossible room if yeah. everybody doesn't know who you are. The best part is that everyone's gonna forget about it. Probably by now, by tomorrow. I've seen so many people bomb doing award shows, and none of it ever stick. Letterman used to make fun of it on his... Oh, by the way, you want to talk about, like, talent... David Letterman, He's good. one of the funniest minds ever, mm-hmm. just did not do well at the Oscars. Mm-hmm. And he would, and he kept making fun of it afterwards. Like, it was yeah. just, like, a funny bit for him. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. James Franco, same thing. He was great, I thought. <sighs> just kidding. Hathaway was, though. Yeah, like yeah, she, she had she, more she energy at least. Gave the effort, yeah. and she showed up for the last third of the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Franco was MIA. Uh, Hathaway put that show on her back. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. Well done, Hathaway. She deserves yeah. her, she deserves another shot at the Oscars. In my opinion, I think give it to a man, <laughs> Cody. Right? Am I am I right? Back me up here, Cody. Just throw Cody under the Cody? bus for no reason. She didn't work on the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> it was a joke. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we can't have a woman work on the bomb. I mean, I mean, I mean, w- w- what's what's the bomb going to be? It's not going to explode. It's just going to be like really mad and doesn't talk yeah. to you for a while. Oh, <laughs> speaking of which, you want to you know what makes me mad? 
is when a director tries to make me feel uncomfortable. Do you hear about this? Salt no. Burn? No, the new Star Wars director. Oh, God. Oh. No, no, we're going to talk about this. Which oh, one? boy. Uh, it's, I, I believe she's doing the Ray movie. Okay. Um, she yeah she talked to she talked this this video resurfaced from like years ago but I'm mad about it now okay. because she talked about uh, making men uncomfortable ah. and I don't want that in my Star Wars you are a man I he, and I don't want that in my Star Wars as the father <laughs> of a boy I am offended don't do that to my Star Wars <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah yeah because Star Wars as we know it's from it's a for new boys hope. it's all about men yeah no I saw a bunch of little fucking boys cry about this on the internet and i thought it was funny it's great man it was even i I, I literally can't do it anymore it was it it was even (laughs) funnier because like i saw a lot of the reactions (laughs) Mm -hmm. to the said clip and i was like okay is it like that doesn't make me like okay good yeah show me something new i'm great and then to find out like that video was like old and like they're just crying about it just because she's attached to a star wars movie the the, the most joy i've gotten from star wars the last two years is um watching (laughs) Men cry about <laughs> it's how, great. how crucial women have always been to Star Wars. Like, they're just finding this out, and they're like, oh, my God, Leia, was that important the whole time? Nope. Mm-mm. I've been told a lie. It's only Han Luke. You know what would be great is if George Lucas came out and was like, well, I mean, we always had Chewbacca as a woman. <laughs> like, no! Oh, I love that. Chewbacca's not a chick. Yeah. It changes everything. <laughs> no, Since no. you're supposed to shave. My favorite is that uh, uh, of the when did Star Wars become political, mm-hmm. and it's like, you, you, you tell me. You dumb fuck. Yes, you're d- like the, uh, uh, the 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 guy from uh, uh, what's the goddamn drumming movie? I can't Drumline. Nick Drumline. Cannon. Yes, I was gonna say Miles Teller. Yeah, the mi- the answer. movie is called Miles Teller. Okay. Yeah. My bad. Where he's like, you dumb fuck. Mm. You oh, dumb that, fuck. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what I say to them. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I showed them. Um, I'm, st- I'm still saying with Whiplash though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, there a woman you go. saving the galaxy. <laughs> not my tempo. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Not a, my tempo. You didn't see a woman drummer. Did not. No, there was a, no, th- no, but th- there were there were female there were, there were musicians. Um, musicians in the yeah. room. All right, fine. Yeah, yeah. just saying. Mm-hmm. Don't make me uncomfortable when I'm watching fucking Star Wars. <laughs> I just I just want to see the same thing over and over and over again because nothing else matters. I'm I'm trying to think of like you know because Star Wars to me I I just want to see I I'm just a, a simple man and I just want to see it on the big screen. I think that's really what no. It I think it's to. better on TV. I think I, it should be dead on the uh, it, <laughs> it just be dead on the th- uh, the TV shows are fine and I've enjoyed them. Uh, the ones I've seen are great. Yeah. I haven't seen all of them. Mm-hmm. You know, like the Marvel shows. I haven't seen most of the Marvel shows. I think I may have softly given up. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I am? I'm like, uh, like I'm like a coach at the end of the year who, like, you pretty sure is going to get fired. But like, I haven't met with, I haven't met with <laughs> ownership. You're Bill Belichick yet. right now, I'm, yeah. dude. I am so Belichicking oh, tomorrow. Stay tuned for Belichick at the end of the show. Are you way. proud of me that I knew that? Well, yeah, yeah, it's good. Everybody's yeah. getting into sports now, Cody. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the Taylor Swift effect. <laughs> yeah, or the Shohei Otani effect. Stop it. Stop, <laughs> dude. Day one, fucking opening day. We gotta okay. go. I've already pre-ordered my hat. I'm happy for you. Happy for you. You want one? They're cheap. No, I'm good. No, They're not cheap. No, uh, no, it wasn't. No. no. <laughs> um, hey, you know what? Angel Stadium always has the Coors Light zone. They do. We uh, can we go to a game this year? I I feel like we, we say talk this about every it year. Like the last three shows. Can we just go to a, a, a fucking game. Yeah, I would I'm, like to go to the first game that Shohei plays at Angel Stadium again. Okay, I'll like go. To do that. I'll those, wear a jersey and I'll be very safe. Okay. there. Yeah. Those tickets are going to be pricey. <laughs> Worth it. They're going to be pricey, yeah. as are the hotel rooms, which I'm getting if I go with you guys. I'll go in mm. with my Make, I wanna a, walk. Make America Great Again hat okay. and get in for free and then switch it over to the Dodger hat. It's because it's Angels Red? Well, no. Because you'll they're, get they're, in. They're like MAGA over there. Oh, not, yeah, not oh everybody. yeah. They're more, they're more well, MAGA. Not a lot everybody. Of a lot yeah, of Anaheim. people. Yeah. Not even the most. Trump literally held a rally at Angel Stadium. So the I'm owner of the team went to la- the Latinos for Trump thing. Okay? <laughs> so he did that. <laughs> So he t- doesn't represent the whole city or the uh, region well, or like even the, the owner either, right? I fucking hate the yeah, owner. Yeah, because he's Latino? No, because he's a shitty ass Is he a Latino? Owner. Are he just a he white is. guy that went to the Latino? <laughs> no, that'd, be, that'd be even better. But that'd no. be even better. No, 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 he's no. like, oh, my boy's here. Uh, no, he. Uh, I think he is Latino. Yeah, yeah Artie Moreno. But, I mean, oh, yeah. so we need a white man. Hold on. I don't know what you're supposed to do <laughs> with, with Shohei in the middle of the season. Like, like, I think he would have been just as vilified if you traded him somewhere. Be like, oh, Moreno screwing us over. Yeah, you know, but you knew he was probably going to leave at the end. You want to make a run to the playoffs. Life is hard, guys. Well, what do you what do you have to say about Bill Belichick? Um, I have sounds that I'm going to be playing. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I thought you had a, be fun. Yeah. I thought you had a whole. I collected a lot of his best sounds from over the years because oh. this is this might be his last go. We'll see. Uh, last go, not going to be his last go. Unfortunately, yeah, with New England. 
Oh, what if, if were we were we talking about him might coming to he LA? Might, he he might come to Washington. Oh, he might come to our nation's capital. Which again, I respect him as as a yeah. legendary coach. I just mm. I, I I don't necessarily think he's the right fit for my organization. Yeah, so. It'd be weird if he was like, we're gonna storm the Capitol this year. <laughs> we're on to the yeah. Capitol. Yeah, the we are the Capitol. Yeah. Let's yeah. go, commies. The commies are storming <laughs> yeah. the DC. We're gonna capital. free those hostages. Um, mm. what would you guys call the Washington football team if they renamed it again? So it's Commanders now. First now off, they're going to do it again. Commanders. Okay. Well, I'd say they're br- saying ownership might want to put their the new owner might want to put their new stamp on it. So what would you go hey, with? Bring it back. Bring back the the Redskins. Yeah. Okay. Why not? All right. I'm fine with Commanders. Uh, there's a few reasons. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm <laughs> fine with wrong? Commanders too. I just think a lot of the fan base is just like you know the you know how fans are. Commandos. Sure. Yes. The Commandos. Yeah. Schwarzenegger. The salt can burns. Like, yeah. Mm. The salt. The burns. Washington <laughs> salt burns. Okay. I'm in now. And you know who their new mascot is? The fighting Barry, um, yeah. naked Barry, <laughs> naked Barry that... jumping around with his dingleberry. <laughs> the bathtub, the bathtub. I like <laughs> to do that. Running around. No, actually, we should lean into this most recent uh, college bowl season and just oh, make yeah. our mascot a pop tart. Yeah, that just, was wild. Just shamelessly go. We gotta yeah, do more well, of that well, in sports. What was yeah. that? Did they just literally kill him? It was and the, then... it, it was the pop tart <laughs> bowl. So pop tart <laughs> sponsored the bowl. <laughs> and they're and so they had a pop tart running around. Yeah. And I don't know how it looked on paper in the meeting room, <laughs> but someone is like, "Hey, I think it'd be a good idea to have the pop tart go into a giant toaster." <laughs> yeah. And wave, and then he comes out as an actually cooked pop tart that people can I, really eat. Yeah. I felt like a kid in that moment because, like, yeah. how did they do that? <laughs> like, it was, was like, a magic. That's movie magic. Like, right Whoa, because what the, the hell? The poor yeah. guy in the pop tart costume. Sorry, Cody. There was actually just a guy inside. It wasn't real. <laughs> oh. uh, he goes down, and then he's just got to chill inside that toaster. Until they wheel him back in so, yeah. so he yeah. can get out. Did he have a change of clothes inside there? Did they, like, let him out into, like, a back door I'll tell you or what something? he did have in there. He had a cigarette. <laughs> I bet the Pop-Tart guy smoking a cigarette just, oh, God, this is Rushed brutal. it. Yeah. And then the Cheez-It really mascot, fun. they were like, I'm not edible, basically, after that all happened. That was yeah, because everybody's yeah, trying to eat the one. Cheez-It mascot. Yeah. They're like, well, we ate the Pop-Tart, and he seemed to like it, so we're going to eat the Cheez-It. Mascots have never been in more danger than they yeah. are right now. You know, Where, did you guys have pop tarts as 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 Utes? I did. I dabbled. Huge, I dabbled I in the pop tarts. I yeah. love the uh, yeah the cinnamon one. The brown I, I sugar like cinnamon. Brown sugar classic. cinnamon is my favorite one. Brown yeah. sugar cinnamon's classic. The strawberries classic. I did toaster strudels. Toaster strudels were too fancy for yeah. the Ellis household mm. because my my parents bought us toaster strudels one time. And what we ended up doing is taking the icing because the, the whole gag of toaster strudels was you put it in the toaster, it comes out, then you can put the icing on yourself. The icing uh, came yeah. in a different wrapper. Mm-hmm. So what us Ellis children figured out is, well, we don't really like the taste of the toaster strudel. We just want the icing. So we put Pop-Tarts in. <laughs> and then we just put the toaster strudel icing on the Pop-Tart for well, even more icy sugar coverage. And yeah. um yeah, that uh, that didn't work. Well, out. I never cared for the like tr- the traditional toast strudel where it was like the strawberry on, on the mm-hmm. inside, but then they came out with uh, a, a Cinnabon flavor. Everybody goes to the dark <sighs> side eventually. That sounds amazing. So good. Yeah, and you get so to ice good. that. Mm-hmm. But oh, see, yeah. the thing of the great thing about that <laughs> pop tarts is salt burn, salt burn a strudel. You, you know that that kid Jim in American Pie, he salt burned that pie. Oh, he did. Mm. Yeah, he totally bring salt it back. That we need pie. to fuck pies again. We, we need, need to bring that about, back. I just love how long they stayed on the cemetery shot. I mean, good lord. Oh, they it's yeah. on, it's beautiful. I, it's I, beautiful. If, if everybody like like the grip is just <laughs> yeah. looking at the kid, and they're like, are, are you? And are we the doing this? Just like like not, hold, 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 let him go. If I had one let complaint, I I. I where the movie goes after that is 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 very good, but I I wish it ended right there, because I like it helps. I want the entire credit score yeah, to go no, above that. It, it felt like that. It felt yeah. like that was a shot where it's like, oh, the movie's gonna end any second now. It's like, oh no, we have got another half an hour still. I've never yeah. been happier to see a movie at home by myself because <laughs> I can't imagine. Because you know, if you saw the movie in a the theater, you know it wouldn't be like sold out, but it'd be like a good amount of people interested in the movie. And you know that you're going to hear yeah. one guy crunching on his popcorn <laughs> yeah. during the grave scene. And you're like, this just feels yeah. weird that anybody's eating popcorn. I, I would imagine a few people probably walked out at some point. Yeah. It's a big walkout movie. I yeah. think so too. That's always my favorite to see that. I mm-hmm. remember one time when I was seeing, I think it was the first or maybe the second Deadpool, like a mom brought her like, five-year-old oh, kid good luck with just that. like just completely i'm sure oblivious like saw mm-hmm. a red superhero and was like oh it's just a comic book movie <laughs> and he's the first word he says is fuck and she's like oh no and just like immediately <laughs> takes the kid out yeah. like i didn't do my research no you didn't no you didn't 
I saw a baby at uh, Straight Outta Compton. And that baby That's good parenting. hung in there. Yeah. yeah. Not a sound for two hours. Really? They, they, they had the headphones on, like oh. you're supposed to do now. You know? There's 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 no uh more horrible feeling than seeing uh, 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 two parents strolling in a child in like a mm. carriage because that happened to me. Theater? That had to me one time, and I was like, "Why? Yeah, why are you doing mm-hmm. this?" I still hadn't even done it yet. Like, it's it's one thing when they're yeah. older, but like yeah. when it's a, a a newborn. Not to me, it's not one thing when they're older. Okay, I, I, I agree. <laughs> I don't want I the agree. children in my theater. <laughs> oh, dude, my Wonka screening, an entire row of kids. God, no. entire. I surprisingly didn't hear them. And then I had a coworker saying like this was the worst movie theater experience <laughs> I've ever had. I was like, well, you sat right in front of them. Yeah, I sat in the corner of the theater. That so. might be <laughs> why I give Barbie the edge over Godzilla minus one for best movie of the year for me because Godzilla minus one. I had a great theater. Everybody was 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 mm-hmm. reading the movie, mm-hmm. which I actually <laughs> yes. think helps. Yeah, I want to see more more foreign language films now mm-hmm. because. We have to focus, and we can't be talking right. or opening ourselves because then we're going to miss what's actually happening. Yeah. yeah. With Barbie, I was in a packed theater. I think it was probably opening or second weekend. Mm-hmm. Packed theater. I saw it by myself, and I was every seat in the house was taken. I was sitting right next to this couple probably has been dating for a year. They're probably high school sweethearts. Oh, they're yeah. not legal drinking age. They're okay. not. They're not. They're not even that old. Yeah. They're sitting together and they're chatting and everybody in the theater is like singing and they're like having a good time, like talking during the movie. But it was. It all felt appropriate because mm-hmm. it was like a celebration of this this thing. Yeah. And it was very. It was very. I was so mad at myself for not getting offended <laughs> at the theater because I hate when people make a sound. But yeah. I loved how loud that theater was. It was just rocking and yeah. rolling for Barbie. Uh, the, the second Billie Eilish song plays, it's just mm-hmm. fucking waterworks. Just face just melts i don't think i got emotional i I almost got emotional dead inside when i heard the guitar uh, solo that was slash and wolfgang van halen together it was both of them together during the ken song i i literally i've cried so much last year i cried at a concert Ooh, i've uh, cried i literally cried at a concert one was it metal lunica that's metallica oh (laughs) i call it metallica no Metallica. <laughs> oh. No, it wasn't. It was during Avenged Sevenfold. I cried twice. There you go. One because they were well. The first time was like, oh my god, I'm here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, no, it's I, finally no. happening. And then the second time they were playing a song that tributed their their old guitar player that passed away. Oh, uh, that'll do it. That was more reasonable. The first yeah. time, Amber's like, "What's wrong?" It's like, "I'm just so happy. I'm just, I'm yeah, just yeah. so happy." Yeah. I got. Uh, I might go see if if I have. It, I, I left it up to fate. So like, I put in my avails for all the comedy clubs uh, all all week and. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I happen to not have a set either Friday or Saturday, I'll probably go down to the forum and see the Eagles. Oh, they're playing Steely Dan and the Eagles, and mm-hmm. it's you know again, it's, it's one of those bands where it's like it may be their last show, or they may decide, hey, you know, it's really fun, money, so let's do another retirement tour in two yeah. years. But mm-hmm. it would be kind of cool to see the Eagles at the forum, which was like their home in Los Angeles for so yeah. long, and so I, I might go do that. If I do that, mm-hmm. I, I there might be a tear. Yeah, I don't know though. Yeah, I'm if you see if inside. you see him like a like a, a farewell kind of thing. Yeah, but like I feel like a lot of bands do like a farewell tour, and mm-hmm. then like ten years later, like oh fuck, we're still alive. Well, let's do it again. You know, Kiss was on tour uh, this past year. I think they did their Madison Square Garden farewell show. Yeah, in early December of 2023. Yeah, uh, Kiss also did a retirement tour in 1996. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Well, like ACDC, too. Didn't they come back again, too? I give them credit because they thought they were retiring because oh, their lead okay. singer, Brian Johnson, has like 10% hearing left. Uh, and so he literally, the doctor's like, you cannot, pre- if you perform one more show, you're going to go uh, completely deaf. Yeah. But then they had this miracle surgery and that's he came back. Cool. Yeah, yeah so, that's pretty cool. So if they tour again, I'll probably go see them. I might get emotional when I see that uh, the Sammy Hagar, Joe Satriani, mm. Jason Bond, and Michael Anthony tour this summer. Oh, that that that, that, that that might get me. Oh, you know what? I okay, so I lied. There's two concerts. So it was Fuck the event in, sevenfold dude. that I that I cried. The second one, Cody's was, judging you for crying at concerts. I know. I'm sorry. The, the second yeah. one was great. The second one was Kid Rock during New Year's Eve. Of course, just yeah. like yeah, it waterworks. This yeah. guy's meant ball. so much to all of us. Oh, I yeah. messed up the our joke. entire life. It wasn't Kid Rock. Who was it? It was uh, still va- It's Vanilla Ice. Mm. Either vanilla Ice performed. Did that actually happen? Yeah, Vanilla Ice performed. Oh, well, I didn't at, know like, that. So Kid Rock still worked. Well, if Vanilla Ice performed for like Kid Rock, arguably works better. <laughs> yeah. Vanilla, vanilla Ice performed for Trump, like at his at I'm Mar-a-Lago. sure Kid Rock has mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, 
And like yeah. <laughs> he had Raphael come up there and dance to vanilla, like as in like the Ninja Turtle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Trump allowed a Ninja Turtle. I mean, at Mar-a-Lago. Hey, he he was born in the U.S. <laughs> you want me to say? He's from New York. Yeah. Yeah. I he like he, he he was one of Trump's luxury towers in the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn it. Hey, it's, it's gonna haunt me. You'll get over it. There's another New Year's Eve coming. I take next back year. everything that I said about. I Joe was gonna Coy. say, it's yeah, very, it's very know. hard. Yeah, it's very Why don't you hard. Go up on that Golden Globe stage. Let me spend ten minutes com- like complaining about the audience now. Yeah, that um, would be so fun in the future with virtual reality is to put yourself in a simulator. Fuck that. We're now mm. now Ooh. you're hosting. Put on the VR headset. Now you're hosting the Golden Globes, and they're able to set the the parameters and all that stuff exactly yeah. what it's like, the temperature in the room, mm-hmm. who's there, who's talking. Everything is pr- exactly like Joe had it, and Let's see how you do. Sorry. Let's yeah. see how you do. Manny said it was Michelangelo. I'm sorry. Oh, now you're really fucking That's up. racist. It's turtleist. I know. I'm but sorry. But I feel like Michelangelo would. I feel like Raphael is like hardcore libertarian. Like, you, we would not catch Raphael in the state of Florida. Um, no. Michelangelo is a party dude. It makes sense. Yeah, he went to Florida State. But again, yeah. Michelangelo yeah. at a MAGA event, it, Vanilla Ice, if he went to the island, it again, it, it's, it's a paycheck. All right? You, as a performer, I give you... A, a pass. You're going there to make money, and then you leave. Okay. It's okay I if you seen the entire it, list. I was gonna say <laughs> they have. Like, they, there's like still a hundred. Mark's like getting ahead of it. Yeah. There's like a hundred. You see my name on there? Just no. It's just a there's paid like gig. A, it was a paid gig. There's a hundred more yeah. names that still need to be released. I that think, one weekend so. when I was on the road, and you guys like, where are you? The funny bone, the improv. I'm like, oh, there's something like I'm that. Some on a, some yeah. island. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> where are you? Uh, you? You got some upcoming plans uh, for touring? Not or going anything? to any islands anytime soon. Okay. Yeah. This guy maybe ruined, Catalina. He's ruined islands for everything. No, he has not touched cat. Well. Catalina Maybe he's been sacred. on Catalina at some yeah. point. But we were joking about it a lot. What if we found out like he owned that Catalina we stayed? Island? Oh, he just owned the island. Ugh. The, it's, ju- <laughs> the it's, jeweler? It's the worst, it's the worst case scenario for all of us because what, what everybody out there has to understand is that if Epstein had anything to do with Catalina Island at all, right? We're Tarnished. all there's six or seven of us on a text chain that I named the Hamilton Cove Boys. Yeah. <laughs> That is list We're material. We're the first seven yeah. names that are going to be mm-hmm. on that list. Yeah, there's going to be. You're going to see the the dossier of yeah. like <laughs> Luau Larrys. Yep, <laughs> just talking about Eric Striffler. Yeah, I was going to say it was seven of us and six of us are were angels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fun stuff. Um, where am I going to yeah. be? I'm in town for a while, and then I have uh, dates coming up in Portland, Boston, nice Chicago, Houston, Ooh. Vegas, New York. Yes. So we got some we got some fun stuff. The hour is cooking. It's uh, starting to starting to take shape. If it, if you will. love it, can I interest you in the new Laugh Factory in Covina, just uh, right around the corner? From, I heard it. I heard it's a from, lot of fun from where I live. Yeah. Can open up. Yeah, for Rob I haven't Schneider. been there yet. Yeah, was Schneider there recently? Um, I don't know. Oh, if Schneider these, was. No, no, Pauly no. Shore was. Maybe got it mixed up with Pauly Shore. I don't mm-hmm. know. That's some a ninety star. Up. I don't know. Similar build. Polly had a very funny retaliation to the Cat Williams video that everybody saw. Oh, about. did you watch Club any Shay of that? Shay? I haven't watched any of the Cat Williams video. Um, I know, you know, some of the stuff that that's that I've basically seen people, a lot of my my friends who mm-hmm. are mentioned in it, like react yeah. to it, and it's just a. Uh, Whew, boy, I it's like it's like three hours. The podcast is like three hours or two and a half yeah. hours. I think I listened to the first hour. Like, where is it? Where is mm-hmm. it? I don't think he got to it. I was like, God damn it! It's all good stuff. Well, but Shannon Sharp is the kind of interviewer who just he's not really gonna like. He's gonna ask you gonna a question, push. and he's then just, it's just like, all right, you just keep going. And and Cat can certainly do that. The thing that I saw, I saw one of the reactions was from Mike Epps, mm-hmm. and but Mike Mike Epps' reaction because I don't think Cat Williams really mentioned him like mm-hmm. or you know spilled any tea about him. But Mike Epps was like, "Hey man, why don't you why don't you fucking mention me? I got tickets to sell. I got a, I got a stand up se- special coming out. You could, I'm I'm a little better, dude. Oh, that was kind of fun. Roy Wood Jr. had the best like because some a bunch of fans were asking him like, what's his take on the Cat Williams video? Oh yeah, <laughs> I saw that. Roy responded, he's like, this is like when your uncles are fighting at the barbecue. <laughs> you just let them have their thing, and we're gonna stay out of it. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. I need to finish that or just watch the highlights. I think I think yeah. with all the stuff, it's like we're all just trying to make people laugh. You know, it made me laugh. Cat Williams, he's a character. He's Joe always Boy hosting. It. It's it's Matt Rife selling tickets. It's all these, you know. It's just oh, like, Matt Rife's funny. Though. Everybody's just trying to do their best. <laughs> Everybody's just he's hilarious. Everybody's trying to be fun. Matt Rife just like resonates with me because I'm a he man. He gets it. He gets me. Yeah, he was testing the waters. It's like. You passed. You jump in those walls. Yeah. Yeah. Guys. Oh, you can swim. <laughs> All of us comedians were just up there on stage trying to flounder and figure out who has the key to yeah. Saltburn. 
<laughs> there it is. Because what a manner to live in. Um, what do you say? You gonna wrap it up? You got anything else? You got Let's anything see else? If I have any notes here? Let's see. I got COVID during break. That's all I have. Oh, right I'm sorry about I that. I didn't get it. I heard yeah. it was uh, picking back up again, but yeah. Um, it was good this time around. I didn't get it. Oh, I forgot I had this written down. I had the top five bits that I had for the show last year that I abandoned. I thought I can go through those real quick. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, I was going to do a Matt Knows Power Rankings before the NBA season started. That totally was forgot. <laughs> um, and also, we were supposed to book Nost for that show. We totally forgot. Okay. Um, That's we might, kind of a twofer. Maybe we'll have him on for the All-Star break yeah. episode. We'll see what happens there. Behind the scenes, look, we actually have... A Google Doc. I made a Google Doc. A spreadsheet. I yeah. heard about our list it. Of, yeah. of guests. Where I'm writing down ideas and shit. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I heard about the Google Doc. Next thing I know, I get a text from mm-hmm. one of you saying, <laughs> would you like to be a guest <laughs> on this show? And I'm like, God damn it. And that's what are your that's, avails that's for the rest of the year? That's just another list Mark. that you're on. Yeah. It's just the interns are uprising. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was going to do another Cody Spooky Stories bit. I actually wrote that entire thing out for our Halloween show. And then I had a slight family emergency, so I couldn't do it. Didn't and do that, it. that only works for the Halloween show. So I had just this random bit. I like Cody Spooky Stories. Stories. Yeah, it was a, it that. was a good one. Um, I was good for St. Patrick's Day. I was going to do the whole show in an Irish accent, but I bailed <laughs> on it on the drive over because I didn't have a good Irish accent. And then I was, and I was like, "Are people going to find it offensive?" And I got nervous, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm not going to do it." So I didn't do it. Uh, then number two, I was going to do you know those Burger King commercials that are everywhere on NFL season, the Whopper, 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 Whopper. I was going to do a full edited series of those, spoof them, play them throughout the entire show, It'd be a fun time. I'm a little disappointed Never I haven't started. heard a Burger King soundbite yet. Um, and then number one, I was going to do a bit where I told Christian I wasn't going to make the show, and then I was going to show up outside that window and climb through. I legit looked at ladders to see. Like, if I rented a giant-ass ladder, because I think that window is on, like, the street level. Um, uh, don't give me away. Um, so, like, I... <laughs> <laughs> so, I was like, I could probably climb that thing and then, like, surprise and climb through the fucking show. I would argue that most windows are on street level. Fair enough. That would be so brilliant. Not if you climbed to the window. It'd be even funnier if you fell off the ladder and got injured. <laughs> like you broke your leg and you're just like screaming I'm in like, pain. I'm like, I'm like, do it. You guys are making yeah, no, fun no, no. of some dumb I'm, kid out there. I'm doing the show. I'm like, wow, there's a lot yeah. of firefighters what outside. What the hell is going yeah. on? The thing is, Who too, keeps yelling Christian. There's like, it's some. There's either some kind of retirement home or mm. someone is like always being hospitalized across the street because there was always a firefighter yeah. and ambulance outside, like there's, constantly. There are sneaky retirement homes. All over Burbank. Oh, dude, there was a stabbing at one last year. Really? Oh, yeah. Some old, old geezer got into it. Wow, okay. I don't know An if An old person old stabbed another old person? I don't know the full details, but I okay. think someone, like, invaded with a knife or something like oh, that. Oh, wow. Yeah. You don't realize how many retirement communities are in Burbank until you come out here looking for an apartment for yourself, mm-hmm. and you're like, this is perfect. It's got everything I want. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, it's not for my people. Yeah. Try looking, for, try looking for a home. It's a home that was built in the 1950s, and it's worth... A billion dollars. I, look, Christian, I Sons for the bitches. last time, I cannot Move. control the housing market. Uh, I mean, someone should. Biden surely <laughs> is not. <laughs> it's all his fault. Have you heard of inflation? I, yes, we, most people have. Have you? You know most that inflation people. takes like a year to take into place? It's crazy. It's cool. It's, it, it's, it takes a long time to do it. Yeah. That's on purpose. That's so every like it, leading president can say, I did this. And every except incoming for Trump. president Ex- can except, say, well, I inherited this. Except for Trump. He did not... That wasn't Obama. That was Trump. I don't know. He made a pretty powerful statement at the Four Seasons landscaping. Every time I think about that, it's just I, I get so it's happy. No, that wasn't so, even Trump. So that was Rudy fucking Giuliani, happy. wasn't it? Uh, it was. No, they were was announcing the that, that the election's rigged and like we're going to do an investigation but it was. and stuff. It yeah. was so funny. They're getting close. It'll, it'll, it's, <laughs> our time will come. Our time will come. Um, twenty twenty four is going to be a nightmare. Oh, it's going to be a. F- I'm so it's excited. Be such a. I am so actually, I've actually planned out some good stuff for this show. Yeah, we so need it based on the election. We need yeah. the content. Mm-hmm. I remember twenty twenty was a fun election year. Yeah, I think I don't know if we streamed during no. it or we did no. like some kind of special stream. We did like a Q and A, like a Friday show. I think yeah. after it was done. Yeah. That was yeah. back when we were playing Wii Golf on. Oh, uh, those were the days. Online. Man. Someone yeah. commented uh, on one of those old videos saying, "Like, can you bring back the two to three streams a week?" And it's like, I, I wish. Yeah. It's just it it, it it if another pandemic, I don't want one to. But you got it. That's yeah. coming back. I'm but. back in Wii Golf shape. Yeah. Oh. Been playing that again. I yeah. believe. Wii Sports is now on Nintendo Switch. Really? Or a new version of it. Okay. 
Ah, uh, damn it. Do I have to buy one of these things now? I think there's a second one coming out soon, so you might get cheap. Because now my niece and nephew, they're, like, old enough where they want to play me in, like, Super Smash Brothers and stuff, but they're, like, good. Like, they're legit. Oh, uh, fuck they that. No, don't, don't do it. It's a trap. It's People that are good at Super Smash, I don't like you. It, that's the most stressful, unfun it's, game. It's that not I'm fun at so all. Bad I don't at understand it. how uh, it works. Yeah. There's no. no rhyme or reason to the game. Uh, God, I, don't I think will I've ever won a single round of that yeah. in my 31 no. years. I, of life. I'll play Overcooked and and oh, destroy yeah. all of our friendships in a heartbeat. Yes. But yes. Super Smash, no, get the fuck out of here. There's no oh, enjoyment. You're you're, you're a weirdo. All right, fuck you. Was going to invite you guys to Christmas <laughs> next year, but it seems like you're going to say no. <laughs> uh, what if we all spurned our families into Christmas together on Catalina? Oh God. Oh, Christmas, Christmas on Catalina, Catalina is such a nice ring to it. That's Just great. Driving golf carts down. Do you guys think the pizza place is still on <laughs> oh, I miss that pizza so that much. That sounds delightful. Right. That, Christmas that's, on that's, Catalina. Oh, how is that not a hallmark? I'm that might be it. it out there. That's good. That's oh. good. Just saying. Um, I am going to read some super chats and streamlabs before we start wrapping it up. Uh, which, by the way, Manny, our unofficial producer, brought to our attention today that we're like 60 subscribers away. From six thousand oh, subscribers. Man. Wow! So, Get us okay, there. for the love of God, <laughs> the seventy nine of you, if seventy nine of you just created a new profile and we're subscribed, totally fine with it. We're Great there, bots. Yeah, we're there. I'm fine with the bots. I'll yeah. sell. My, I'll sell my. We'll body acknowledge in a that they're not real accounts. I don't care. We just want but the numbers. The numbers How do you still think Biden up? won the election? The bots. bots. Uh, YouTube pur- 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 purposes. That was a joke. That I was did way not, too clean. I did not, that was so I fucking did not clean. Mean that. Cut that. I don't believe in that bullshit. I don't think they're hostages. They're criminals. Okay. Um. <laughs> so please, please be sure to subscribe to this channel if you've if you're seeing this for the very first time. Uh. Yeah. Hi. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Also hit the I'm like not button. Usually here. That uh, he's really not. <laughs> but he's usually once Mark comes on, then it's like the string of like, oh, we're going through, we're going through them, we're going through all of them. If I was your favorite part of this show, I'm, I'm not usually on it. <laughs> no, I just want. <laughs> but if enough people watch, prepare yourself. But subscribe enough, anyway. And if enough people send money, you guys will have six k by the time Napsack comes. He might not come on unless there's six k. Ooh, maybe. Knowing him. So there, there it is. If you want us to have Ken on. <laughs> subscribe because he's booked in two weeks he's so. booked in two weeks so you've got two weeks to do it and we won't be on next week because it's a holiday and we got some stuff going it's on it's not week. a holiday cody's football team is playing in a playoff game oh, just okay yes it's very important okay martin if, luther, if the martin national luther king is game not was important. close i was going to be watching the national championship while we did the show but michigan started pulling away right at as we were going to air so as I you usually do safe yeah you know um, but aside from that, a couple Streamlabs uh, or Super Chats, excuse me. Uh, Wiley sent in the Super Chat. Thank you, Wiley. Watched uh, watched the Final Destination movies for the first time. Just finished the third one so far. My favorite. I like the first two. Have fun with that fifth one, bud. Trust me. Oh, oh yeah. Trust yeah, that's, me. that one's fun. I saw a TikTok recently. Uh, it was kind of fucked up, but it was also very, very funny. Uh, it was people in line or, or in a roller coaster right about to take off. And the person, you know, managing the, uh, the buttons and all that, they're on the speaker. They're like, hey, you ever seen that Final Destination movie? And mm. they just they went flying. Mm. It's good. Mm. Okay. By the way, I'm sorry. I should have saved this for the, I, I can't. I can't hold it in. I went to Magic Mountain, and immediately you made, like, a face when I told you I went to Magic Mountain. Yeah. Have you been to Magic Mountain? I love it. Have you been on uh, uh, Tatsu? Oh, it's my favorite roller coaster ever. It's incredible. Holy crap. Mark, you see the universe, man. You're when you do that front flip thing. You're literally flying. Yes. Cause like, it is beautiful. You sit in it, and you're like, okay, it's a normal roller coaster. Oh, wait, I'm standing. And then they put you back 90 degrees, so now yeah. your belly button is facing the ground. <laughs> so now there's out. nowhere to look but at how high above the earth you are, yeah. rocketing and insane. You feel like Iron Man, guys. Yes. It's fucking great. It's One time you like awesome. black out, like oh, it's great, dude. It's and it lasts forever. Like, yes, I, I had to do my Top Gun Maverick pilot breathing to get through it. I was like, <laughs> <sighs> that is my favorite roller coaster ever. It's it's God, incredible. It's good. Anyway, yeah. back to you. Sorry, are, yeah. are we done? Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry, Dad. Okay, we well, were we so much fun. We just really want to go uh, again. We were made to be on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> we were made to. You be don't on even the believe in gravity. The the yeah no. <laughs> The Earth is flat. <laughs> Gravity don't exist. You either. get to see a lot of the flat Earth on Magic Mountain's Tatsu. Mm, I refuse. God, I've been good. on it though before. It's pretty fun. It's uh, Patty Flynn sent in a super chat. Happy 2024, guys. Uh, I can't stay for the live today, but I'll be watching tonight. Hope you're doing great. Well, Patty, when you good return, you. Mm-hmm. you better create a couple extra. <laughs> you create those accounts now. and you subscribe. You owe us two. 
Uh, Haskell Force 20 hey. sent in a super chat. Thank you, Haskell. Thank you, sir. Uh, happy Wanger New Year and uh, WB Mark. WB? Um, WB Mark. What? <laughs> Warner Rose Mark? <sighs> happy New Year and... Wang Wang Bang. What it be, Mark? Wild birthday. Wild no. birthday. Mm. What? I, uh, Anyways, Michigan sucks. Later. Sloppy Joe's rule. Taco Bell must bring the Cholito and Godzilla minus one was the. Oh, <laughs> I yeah, I that was part of Taco Bell. I, I was like, I wait, hold thing. on. They got a Cholito and Godzilla. A period in there. What minus oh, one meal. Yeah. was. Uh, I will. I I don't know what a WB is, but I agree mm-hmm. that Godzilla minus one was the best film of 2023. Uh, yep. We got the Reaper one in there. Uh, Manny said in a super chat, "Hi guys, happy start to the new year, Mark. How did you happen to see? Uh, uh, Mark, did you happen to see Moneyball slash Lord of the Rings memes? Oh, Love did you guys y'all. catch that day? No. That was the best day ever. No. Oh, two movies that you didn't think would combine for meme potential absolutely did. Uh, the Lord of the Rings <laughs> franchise and Moneyball. It was beautiful. <laughs> Look it up. I was dying laughing. We're all laughed in the Discord. It was fun. Okay, I I gotta yeah. I gotta put this into the old search yeah. engine. They're saying like they were playing Moneyball to get the team." together for the fellowship that was the start of it and then oh. just a bunch of fucking snowballing from there it was great okay um, i can't wait sorry yeah okay oh oh nr clips clipsy 27 says washington bomanders is that what it is the washington bomanders bomanders wb it's it, no but we could go like bojangles <laughs> is big in the southeast it's a great food chain okay that is also not mastered steak but man do they know how to do a chicken biscuit and they have mm. potato rounds Okay. So, you know, maybe that's what they were saying. How many licks does it take to get to Kyle the center? Kyle just said, welcome back, Mark. Maybe that's what it was. Um, oh. Oh, welcome back. No, welcome back, Mark. Yeah, yeah, I think that would be it. That okay. works. I've well, never we, seen it abbreviated like that. We I solved your either. riddle, Eddie. Yeah. I was like, Warner Bros. Mark. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. You watch I, Rotten I, Tomatoes. Sure, that's these universal. things are great, but now now I'm reading a whole article on. <laughs> okay, these are pretty There good. are literally hundreds of these you got to sort through. It was a, it was a movement. Yeah, it's yeah. Manny says I think WB is for welcome back. <laughs> you okay, kids in your abbreviations. <laughs> right. Take a couple hours tonight. Read I through will. all of them. Man. I it's will. Great shit. Oh, that's good. All righty, folks. Uh, we're gonna finish off this show uh, with uh, our soundbite segment where we give shout outs to our fifteen dollar patrons and up. Which again, if you want to help support us here on this channel, patreon.com slash wangers. It really does go a long way. I love this segment. It's mm-hmm. a fun segment. It's uh, very fun if you support us on Patreon. It does help fund our projects, which you are literally helping us fund a project which we are filming very, very soon. Ooh. Mm-hmm. So wish us luck. I've heard about it. All I've said is that I haven't reported on it yet. Mm-hmm. I haven't let any hot scoops leak, mm-hmm. but uh, high on my anticipation list for okay. 2024. Ooh. High on the list. If you want the hot scoops, you got to have a Twitter <laughs> you, we have to subscribe to. You got to subscribe to this you channel. You got to subscribe to this, yes. Uh, here we go. Cody, you ready? I'm ready. Aaron Woodley. <laughs> Alec Remler Young. Hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. If you're watching after the show is live. <laughs> Alexis Lopez. That's why I don't host the Golden Globes. Alexis Lopez. Yeah, but well, we're on to Cincinnati. Yes. Arcadio Castellanos. We're on to Cincinnati. <laughs> Billy Starlay. It's nothing about the past, nothing about the future. It's right now we're preparing for Cincinnati. It's a great bit. Bobby Mitchell. We're getting ready for Cincinnati. <laughs> Brian Arsenal. We're getting ready for Cincinnati. Are these all different? Oh, my God. No, it's, it's all the same. Brian D. So as you get ready for Cincinnati, does Tom Brady have the talent and protection around him to be on to Cincinnati? And have that we're going to game plan and do the best we can to be ready to go Sunday night, same as we always do. We're getting ready for Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> Brian King. Seattle. Chris Jones. Given the nature of this presidential race. Seattle. <laughs> Cindy Perez. Hi, Cindy. Seattle. Did you find it uh, helpful to talk Seattle. to players? <laughs> that one was good. To be annoyed at the end. Yeah. There. yeah. Seattle. Connor Kennedy. If any of your players talk to you about this, are they Seattle. Concerned? <laughs> That's Tom Curran, a uh, wow. beat, beat reporter in Boston, asking him. And Tom Curran asked the tough questions, and <laughs> him and Belichick go at it. Was uh, was that back in the day, I'm assuming? Yeah. yeah, okay, okay, like, yeah. yeah. That might have been 2016. That, so the Seattle one. Oh, no, that one, was probably 20, 2020. The Seattle one was 2016, I believe, because it was in response to it being revealed that he wrote Trump a letter. Oh, and and right, Trump right, right, read right. the letter during like a rally. So they were asking him about it. He's like, I'm not a right. political person, whatever. Right. I'm on to Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it was great. Elena yeah. Marie 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
FS1138. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, give it to me. Uh, uh, let me know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Uh, uh, Giuseppe? Yeah! Giuseppe. Giuseppe? Giuseppe. It's an Italian name. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's G-I-U. <laughs> It's so funny. You're like, let me know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. <laughs> and the first letter, you li- you had a 50-50 shot. Sorry. Harley <laughs> Payne. You got fucking words? James Lavario. I met Larry! There it is. There John it Noto. Is. Oh, Zenon! Justin Than, who on to win? Okay, Zenon! Carl Soderback. I swear to God, men, reach down into your pants, find your fucking balls and your cock, and be okay with it. We can take a woman directing a film in Star Wars and live. Love you, Roka. I agree with you, by the way. Oh, jeez. Cat Burger. Reach down into your pants. <laughs> Kyle Johnson. Find your fucking balls. <laughs> Maris Thornton. And your cock. <laughs> Michael Vittner. Thank Help. you, Senor Film. Nick Wade. Thank you, Olivia. <laughs> Owen Hart. Thank uh, you, Paul. Ruben E25. Thank you, Spinning Art. Sang Lay. Thank you, Sexway. <laughs> Senior Film. Uh, 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 I can't do it, Mama. Sergio Castaneda. Ooh. Sheridan Ponce. Yes, Cody. Yes, God damn it. Yes. Fucking. <laughs> Stephanie Merritt. Oh! 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 Come the fuck on! Oh! He's cut. Oh! You just made that stupid. Oh! <laughs> oh! No! Oh! 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 He might get. Oh! Fuck nice off! Oh, son of a bitch! This is fine. <laughs> oh! Was that two? Oh! How close is it? Oh. What do you think that was? <laughs> I have no idea. Was that a, a collection of us playing that games? Was, that was, uh, Brian put that one together, gotta give him credit. Uh, that was during our Wii Bowling stream. Oh, <laughs> We're okay. like trying to get Spike. That it, is... it, it, that's been a soundbite for like three or four years uh, now. It kills amazing. me every fucking so time. Uh, Terry Stockwell. I had a, a tweet that I liked that I thought was funny. That the extra six sequel is just going to be Ellen Burst- Bernstein with... Uh, Shotgun shooting Pazuzu. Because mm-hmm. that's just the Halloween. It's funny. I, I laughed I like at it. it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I laughed. Your Did audience you? didn't give you enough. No, like they the didn't. Globe. No. That, that that was an edited clip, too. Mm-hmm. Like, it was, it was mm-hmm. in the real thing, it was real. It's been sure. doctored. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everyone applauded you. Yeah, yeah. you DJ Jones. They go, I, I laughed at it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> Tyler Eklund. It was just going to be Ellen Burst- Bernstein with uh, hey, a shotgun shooting the Zuzu. It's not easy. Okay, Joe Coy, I get it. I get it. It's not easy. I, I, I laughed at it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> Vin Kosha. Oh, see not. And finally, Wiley Todd. Give me a second. Have you guys seen this video? Yes. Earn kid. Oh, yes. Yeah. So. Follow the play-by-play afterwards. I've mm-hmm. seen, yeah, I've seen like some follow-ups the and, and the other angles. Afterwards <laughs> is like it ends with them getting a sledgehammer <laughs> and they break the urn, and then the conversation was how much the urn cost, <laughs> and then the last tweet, the last report was now urn kid whose pants were destroyed in the urn <laughs> is now in a corner by himself <laughs> with a drink and smoking a cigarette. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Oh, there was man. a report, dude. Oh, he didn't geez. have pants. Like he lost his pants in the, in the mm-hmm. struggle. Oh, oh man! Geez. Beautiful stuff. Oh, oh, thank well, you, internet. Beautiful stuff, Mark. Beautiful appearance. You're thank beautiful you for beautiful people. Thank you, beautiful people. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here on this uh, this here program. Yeah, you know, and and Always I made fun, fun of you guys a lot tonight, and uh, you know, but just being back here and all these memories, it just kind of. Uh, 
Oh, I it's see. Happening. I, let it happen. Oh, yeah. Let it happen. It's mm-hmm. not supposed to happen. Like feels good, yeah, doesn't it? I just love being. We used to work so for you. You remember that? You guys cry <laughs> at every movie that you <laughs> tried on. You, you saw forty nine <laughs> movies. You might feel. I I I probably cried during. You 40 saw forty nine movies, yeah. and you, you know where else? Yeah. You know where me and Cody collectively we share to cry after every Schmoes No episode. <laughs> we would come <laughs> home. For. Yeah. She's like, this, <laughs> these guys are so mean. <laughs> yeah, we were kind of dicks back in the day. But, you know, you guys slept in the hallway line, and now it's all water. And no, he bread. didn't. I didn't. No. He didn't earn his strength. We, we need, we need to I earned that my out. purple heart, yeah. okay? It's like Trump did. <laughs> okay, watch the World War II documentary. All right, well, come on back. All right, all right, there you go. Uh, MarkEllisLive.com. Subscribe to their channel, guys. Let's oh, get them up hey, to 6K. Okay, hold on. All right. Like, subscribe, create a bot. Do, Do it. Thing. Get us to 6,000. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but uh, all over yeah. across the board on all the socials, you're doing the, the TikToks, board. you're doing the Instagrams, you're doing the uh, the uh, the the talking to the crowd social clips. Uh, Come new on, comedy man. clip Come every on. Tuesday. Got to do it. Test the waters. Test the. I mean, you got to have new content. It's out there. Mm-hmm. It's in the world. You can find it on the social medias. I do do the TikTok. Yeah, do do. And uh, when I remember to, and YouTube. Re- I remember, I got to start doing YouTube now. Too. YouTube shorts. Gotta start, gotta start doing YouTube doing shorts. shorts. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I get Instagram it. Instagram reels. Get what you kids are doing. Instagram's yeah. reels. YouTube is shorts. It's the ones that TikTok are vertical. Is a TikTok. Yeah. yeah gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll figure right. it out. I'll figure it out. Right after I eat this uh, wonderful Fruity Pebbles candy cane, which you gave me as a gift. Merry Christmas. I'm very excited. Or happy holidays. It's going in my protein shake tomorrow morning. There it is. I got a Vitamix. It'll crank everything up. Ooh, that'll be can You can hide a dead body in that thing. Well, hey. Yeah. You know, sometimes... Sometimes you got a salt bar. I was that kind of guy. (laughs) Sometimes you got to do it. Okay, see not. Thank you all. Appreciate you. Welcome back to this new year. Once again, we won't be here next Monday, but we will... Go Bucks. ...have a best moments of 2023 from the Wanker Show posted on that day. Mm Mm-hmm. More than likely. Yeah, try to. Maybe Tuesday. Worst case of that week. Yeah, <laughs> sometime that week. Yes. Yes. Uh, and just wish us luck. <clears throat> We're filming something this weekend. So yeah. wish us luck. Yeah. Wish Good vibes. Luck. Yeah. Good vibes all around. Good mojo. Mm. Happy beeps. Happy no 10 no foot aliens. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you all uh, on the 22nd with Ken Napsack. Bye. We might have Alex Reach on down the 29th. Into your pants. Oh. Arizona? Maybe. Don't forget the end. Find your fucking balls. Mm hmm. Okay. And your cock. Yes. Hang on. <laughs> Got it. Never thought I would need. I see a woman directing a film in Star Wars and live. He had me at balls and cock, then he just got woke. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. just I, was, got, I was with you on the balls. Yeah. Found my cock. He's like, I understand this, these words, this language. Steps two and three were easy. What was Jeff's response to that? He was like, he pretty much agreed, but he was like, I'm letting you do this. He yeah. Like, oh, yeah. No, not that like I'm looking for anything, yeah. but it's like, how do you respond to that? Like, yeah. yeah. We just let him go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but we're on to Cincinnati. That's that's how you respond to it. Yeah, since we're on to Cincinnati. Seattle. You just Belichick it. Seattle. It's nothing about the past, nothing about the future. Well, now I want to know what, what the letter said. I got to look that up. You know who Belichick's favorite band is? We're getting ready for Cincinnati. Kid Rock. Bon Jovi. Oh, okay. Favorite band so of all time. As you get ready for Cincinnati, does Tom Brady have the talent and protection around him to be on to Cincinnati and have that? We're going to game plan and do the best we can to be ready to go Sunday night. Same as we always do. We're getting ready for Cincinnati. And they won the Super Bowl.